Hello there, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back. It is Mad Cowboy Disease Monday. We are back. We're a little bit early, but not too terribly early, but we are here. It is Monday. We are back for Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, I remember nothing about what's going on in this game, except that we're in Louisiana and we went fishing. La we're in we're in Louisiana and we went fishing last time. Um. Yeah, we, we had a big fishing uh, um, adventure. And I'm sure there was a bunch of wanton murder and violence, as there usually is. Um, but that, that's about all I remember about last stream um, of this. But we'll get back into it in just a moment. Um, I will say I hope everybody had a good weekend. I know that... Um, I was back yesterday playing Nino Kuni again. Um, I had a, a much better weekend when I learned today about the Montgomery Alley or Montgomery, Alabama SmackDown. Uh, that was pretty fucking great. That little brawl was pretty great. Uh, the fuck around and find out Olympics, you know, those happening. That was, that was pretty cool. Um, Good to see that. I'm just rambling to myself for no reason. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just, I guess, start playing Red Dead Redemption today, I guess. Normally we have little, like, chat sessions on Monday, but um, it's it's the, the second Monday of the month, first Monday of the month, first Monday after the first, you know. So we'll just go ahead and jump straight over here real quick. I've even got my coffee nice and fresh and everything. All right. Also keeping an eye on everything to make sure that um, the stream doesn't end up crapping out or something. Just because you know how the Tic Tac um, studio can make our stuff go sometimes. So, all right, here we go. What you we got our, our handsome Arthur, Tom Selleck, Arthur. He rocks a mustache because I could never. Oh my God. It does this every time I start this. And Mike is even dumber than me. Real funny, Arthur. He's no windbag, son. He is a, a seer. He sees things that... We don't know yet. I know, I'm just teasing. You're just afraid of opening your mind because you might not like what you find. You're probably right. You know, you know, you always had the most incredible way of putting things. Yep. Mr. Miller has a way of putting things. Me, I, I'm just... An old outlaw, not prepared to go quietly. Oh, you're more than that, Dutch. You're... you're All right, I'm, that's enough of y'all hyping each other up over there. Let's let's move on here and see what's going on. Where am I supposed to be going now? Um, who, who the hell is that? Molly O'Shea needs me. All right, Molly, here I come. Reverend, Reverend Drunky. Well, you'll find it in the bottom of a bottle. Goodbye, Reverend. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Why are you following me around? Yeah, okay. All right, bye now. Cool, have a good day. Fucking weird old drunk. Oh, I can, can I, come here, Boaz. Oh, that's, a, that's the other horse. I thought that was the chicken for a second. Can I, bro, hey, Molly, where the hell are you? There you are, laying down by a tree. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he, 
like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said hey, I'll do <laughs> I'm it. not I'll above it. You ride with us. Well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. Uh, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. <laughs> it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train, very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. How did talking to Miss Molly get me wound up in your business? God damn it. How you get wind of this old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson, that's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I don't really have much faith in anything we're doing here right now, if I'm being honest. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> Old. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Bandana. A cowboy rides into town in the Wild West and shoots an artiste. Sheriff asked, why the hell did you do that? Cowboy said, I thought he was going to draw. <laughs> That's a good one. I like it. Well, hi, Darth Xerxes. That's a good one. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die. And perfectly on brand. Just like clockwork. <laughs> How was your weekend, my good sir? Stop the wagon! I said stop the Starfield is gonna be available for preload on the ninth. Noise. Don't, I don't want okay, how how are you enjoying DS9 now? Work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> oh, we know him. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Yeehaw! Are you gonna give me a hand here? Uh, sure. Of course I am. Let's see what's inside. Doop, doop, do what's in the wagon. Crit success nerd, how are you doing? Good to, okay, good to see you. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit. Oh, that's not good. Say something. Uh, that's not good. We got those, uh, go. movie right, bars on go. there. Yeah. <laughs> the game went widescreen. Time to go. Son of a bitch. Ah! They're shooting at me. There's a whole lot of them back there. Light us up, boys. Get rid of these sons of bitches. Ah. 
All right. Damn it. Where's my gun? God damn it. What happened to my gun? Oh, God damn. Which one of you sons of bitches is going down first? Ah, this is not good. I thought I could do this, but I can't. Oh my god! Dutch is gonna be mad! Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way! Watch out for the trees! Don't worry, I'll handle the shooting. Y'all just ride. Check asses. Ow! I'm trying, damn it! Y'all ain't helping me. Oh my God! Oh, the, the woods don't work for me, guys. I run into trees a lot on my horse. Hercules and I don't do trees well. Oh, oh my God! Oh my god! I told you! Damn it! I tried to warn you guys! Damn it! <laughs> Assholes! <laughs> oh my god! Not again! Hey guys! Oh! I almost made it! Dear I did! I saw that literally when I logged in today. When I booted up the game, I saw that Red Dead Redemption is being ported to... Um, I saw the PS4. I didn't know it was just weirdly Switch and PS4. But I did see that the, the Red Dead Redemption and the Undead Nightmare are being ported. So that's kind of cool. Um, but I just saw that this morning. I thought that was pretty cool. Try and get out of here. Hey. Shit. Absolutely. I don't, I will admit, I don't know DS9 nearly well enough to have conversations about it. Uh, but like, that's cool. Yeah, PS4 makes no sense to me either. Like, because what they're going to do is they're going to hard port it to PS4 and then, oh. Oh yeah, I changed it. I needed a change. Alright, that was that was definitely worth worth the little pause there. Thank you, Idly Kiwi for the resub for three months now. Love having you here. Thank you for that. Always love your support. Go check out the, the bar. But hello. Um, I know that it's going to be available in the PlayStation Store, so we'll be able to download it on PS5, but I agree that it's weird that they didn't just port it directly for PS5. It's weird. You can Irish goodbye more effectively with with the invisibility spray. That's a nice use for it, honestly. Sure. I guess. Head inside. I'll go around the back. I bet you will go around the back, won't you? All right. How are we doing this? <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that. My bad, I guess we didn't need to do that. <laughs> I literally don't know what I did. I, I just wanted to shoot somebody, I'm so sorry. Don't worry, I'm coming to help.
Oh my god, there's so many of them. Wanton destruction! Come on! Damn! Hey, stop running into me! I'm trying to help. God damn it! How about we stop robbing Cornwall for a while? I didn't know we was robbing Cornwall. All right. Okay. Come on! Ninja kick the damn rabbit! Jesus! Baldy McGee over there. Yeah, I do think we're still in that spot, crit success. I, I think we're in that spot. This is my first time through the game, Travis. Um, but, um... Oh, shit, my bad. I was answering a question, but where the hell was I? Um, I do think we're still in an era where the PS5 just doesn't have enough units sold for them to think they can get away with not supporting the PS4 or prioritizing it, rather. All right, God damn it, we gotta go. Shit! Oh my God! Oh shit, where the hell are we going? They're still shooting at us, god damn it! The PS5 still has like all of maybe 13, at this moment like 12? I think it's like 12 PS5 exclusives and it's still like the number is not going up. It's like 14, I think, with the Spider-Man 2 and um, Final Fantasy. Um... Okay, wrong button. God damn it. All right, come on now. Run. Oh, shit, I ran into a damn tree again. It's dark out here. I can't see any of you sons of bitches. Damn it, Unc, where are we going? They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You take the left and I'll take the right, okay? You're right on my right. Surprise, motherfucker! Did that man just shout, I'm gonna lay you down as a threat? When did this become the gay cowboy? Okay, it's been the gay cowboy game for a while now. But that's beside the point, damn it. Oh, that's those are my guys. My bad. Don't mind me. I'm just trusting the auto aim in the dark. Oh, there you are. Go ahead. Come on. Stick your head up. Yoo hoo! How's it going, Nancy? <laughs> Damn it, I'm trying to kill people right now. Thank you. I mean, oh my. 
Hello there. I don't know how close that was, but howdy there. Every man split up, going run quick. Good luck, gents. Stay quiet and move. <laughs> I just saw Richard's comment said, I bet even with that frame, people still ask what game it is. Yep. All the time. All right. We did it. Mission accomplished, I guess. All right, then. Furry robosexual on the PC. I saw that comes out. When does that come out on, P on PC? Uh, Ratchet and Clank. I know it's it's soon, right? I'm starting to see ads for it now. What am I in controls for and not fucking map? How the hell did I end up down there? Oh, because I ended up on settings. Okay. What's going on over here? Who is this? Lenny? And uh, wait, what's going on with the Grays? Oh, sn sniff around K Caliga Hall. Caliga Hall. Alcohol? And Lenny needs to speak to me. All right, Lenny. Well, I'm pointing your direction more, I suppose. So here I go. To choose between Baldur's Gate 3 and Pikmin 4. Yeah, I understand having to pick between gaming experiences. Like, I'm I'm excited for Baldur's Gate 3, but I have to wait until next month because I'm waiting for it to come to PS5. Um, but as soon as I do, I've decided I know how I'm going to get my fix of all the characters I want to play. I'm just going to play games with all my friends and play different characters in all of their, str in all of their games. So, you know, I'll be a rogue over here and a... Rogue over there, and probably a bard over here, and and then we'll have one character we do a playthrough of on the stream, where we do it together. Oh God! What the hell happened? Take thirty thousand, gang. Take a your share, twelve cents and a moth. Hey, Captain Ridley, just dropping by to say hi. Just got off work. Hey, go enjoy dinner. I hope you I hope you had a decent day at work. I hope you enjoy dinner. Oh my god, what did I shoot? Oh my god, it was a dog. I thought it I saw a boar and I shot something and I think I shot it. Oh no, I'm I'm oh. I never feel bad about shooting a person, but a dog. RIP dog. You deserved better. Anger in a can, the gnome barbarian. Yeah, I'm. I kind of want to try a. I want to try a run where we have like as many non combatant kind of people as we can. Like, you know, a college eloquence bard. Easy, fella. you bring it through here. Easy there. I'm trying to get these supplies to the federal building. This ain't no slack, dog outfit. Oh, okay. Point your gun at me then. Point your gun at me then. Oh, what are you shooting? I have. Oh, there. Oh, it's his boys. I was like, I helped you, you son of a bitch. Listen here. Come on, Hunkulees. You got this. Don't get me killed. That's all I'm asking. All right. Well, we killed those fellers for some reason. I'm not entirely hard. Oh, I'm used to I'm used to D and D. I'm used to D and D. Um, <laughs> I, I can see what you mean though about being a little fucked over, but I know that there are ways to handle some stuff. So I just want like at least classes that have as many options as possible for not um for avoiding combat but can still do cool combat stuff, you know? Yeah. 
Work was all right, but oh you know, yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine loading tires gets um, old eventually. Oh shit, I gotta put Hunky Lee's up because if I don't, this damn horse will follow me around all the damn time. Uh, and of course I didn't hitch him up. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Working on loaders and changing the tires. Oh, okay. So specifically loader tires. I got you. All right, Lenny, what'd you make me come back to camp for? Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Depends. What do you want? Uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. Well, you have a good night. If we see you again later, yeah, awesome. If not, you take care of yourself and have a great East night, all right? There's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think they war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. Oh. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings... Sounds like... Said, sounds like real life. Back. Yeah, I've been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash... Yes, don't around. forget to clean the you weapons. Maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies gardening? Exactly. So how was everybody's weekend? Now that we got more people around, least, how was everybody's was weekend? Thing. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, you have COVID. Oh, I'm sorry. But I thought but I thought that was all gone, and it's not a thing that bothers people anymore, right? All right. It never existed in the first place. No, I'm just kidding. I just get tired of people talking like that. I'm sorry that you're sick. You'll be over it by Tuesday because your fever's been bouncing back and forth. Well, it's, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you're over the worst of it and things go nice and easy for now, from now forward. Mama P reaches into the treasure chest, pulls out the answer to happiness. 42. Oh, shit. Why am I following Unk around? My bad. I got distracted. I was going the wrong way. I all of a sudden started following Unk because I forgot what I was doing. My bad, Lenny. Ready when you are. All I can think of when I hear the name Lenny is Lenny Bruce Langston Hughes. Um, which is two random lines in the middle of La Vie Bohème from Ren. Yeah. Don't ask why. You know, I might have met these crazies before. I just thought of something. No, Am I about to go meet well, Klansmen? Yes, no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie. Because they're talking about they're talking about people whining about losing yeah. the Civil War. Mrs. Adler did just I'm like, am I going to go get to kill Klansmen? Because this is going to be the best side quest ever if it is. I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lamont. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed it. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Damn. I might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. Yowzers. Is a, a glance or a word. Oh my. A visit in the night. Well, out west is out west is out west, and you're all who you are, right? decent folks. But some places down here, they judge different. I'm gonna go kill racists. I'm gonna go kill racists. I've never been so happy to commit murder, Dutch. Still shining, and their guns still shoot. 
So I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> you and me both, okay. Lenny. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. The, the answer to happiness is pumpkin loaf or one of the mods need to add. I've never been so happy to commit murder. <laughs> also, I'm going to go kill racists. No. Oh my god, what did I run over now? Oh, I hope I didn't injure another dog. Um, the command is exclamation point add quote. And then you just put whatever you want to add as the quote. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Well... We got some wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Now where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Let's see if I can get it to work for me real quick so I can show you. Ta-da! Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. I don't think you need the quotation marks, but it is kind of funny. All right. So the the racists use an old church, huh? I think I'm gonna kill clansmen. Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care. To I got my gun because my trigger finger is ready. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. You hear that? Someone's on the track. Saw an old church, found it interesting, not sure why. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. A wagon. Just two fellers out on the road. Hey, that looks like dynamite in the back there. It looks like we're on I like the that, yeah. Let us let's have us a nosy. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. Oh, of course it's a big plantation house. Good enough to me. But there's nowhere to hitch the damn horse. He's gonna follow me around. Oh man, you don't understand. This horse is kind of. Come on. He ain't quite right in the head. You on him from that wall up there. Make sure you bring your sharpshooter. Oh, oh shit! I was like, I'm ready. Then, then I lied. I, I'm not quite ready. Hang on. I'm, uh, I'm gonna bring my repeater with me as well. All right, but I won't. Sniper, I want good old Black Death. What a fitting choice to, to bring Black Death to hunt racists. What am I supposed to do with this wall? Oh, just post up against it here? Maybe? What do you want me to do? Want me to climb the damn thing? I'm trying to get into cover. 
there a specific button for getting into cover that I forgot about? Aha, there is. Have you seen today? No. Yes. Yes. Well, they're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. Hey, we came all this way, sir. Can you look again and see if you spot anything? All right, some tents. I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea <laughs> I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for performance. The, that is the dumbest idea I've ever heard, but... Oh, God. Do I want to send Lenny into the damn... Uh, I'm not sending you into the lion's den. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. Fine by me. Light up the racists, baby. Bitch! I don't care. They may not be... They may not be wearing hoods, but they're wearing Confederate uniforms, and what's the damn difference, I ask you? Damn it! Yeah, push up on them! Lenny, watch out! Don't get yourself killed, damn it! Damn it! Stop moving, you son of a bitch! Yeah, fall back! Run away! Get off that thing! Meet my- oh shit! You son of a bitch! Damn it! Damn it! I'm pressing the wrong buttons! There we go! Fuck you! Alright, where's another one of them? There's one! Um, howdy there. Come on, where are the racists at? Come on, poke your little head out again. Take that. Ah, oh, damn. There we go. Oh, look, Mom, I caught another one. Except apparently... Oh, he's real close, that's why. Hang on, you get off him! Bitch! Hey, hey, shut up. All right, let's switch it up. We done used all the ammo on that. Quick, any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Let them. These fellas dealing off. There might be guns in these wagons. Guns in the wagons. Do you think they have any hats? Asking for a friend. You got anything? A friend who I likes know. hats. This stuff's too old to bother with. Keep looking. This is just trash. Damn it. This one looks good. Search it. 
here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. You know it ain't gonna be this easy, right? There's gonna be more racists coming for us on the road. And you know what that means, right? You want me to drive off them? We get to kill more we of them. That's what I'm doing, Lenny. Damn it. Off my nuts, Lenny. Did he just say G up? Oh, like giddy up. Excuse you? We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of. Yeah, you're right. We we weren't. It was bullshit. You got me. It's nice knowing you. Oh shit! I'm shooting deer. My bad. We're not shooting deer. We're shooting racists. There you go. See, the damn horse is following me again. I done told you what this boy does. You did good. We did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to. It's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth dragon. Worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. Against my better judgment. Just <laughs> you were against my better judgment. An overachieving god of government. What's up, you loud mouth braggart? Element, how's it going, Pep? Welcome, welcome. I'll have you know I finished part one of um of Inquisitor today, of Rise of the Red Blade. Um I'm taking the book in part, so I'll have it finished on Wednesday. Part one, fantastic. Like, really, like, I haven't read Phasma or Black Spire, so I haven't read any of Delilah S. Dawson's other stuff, and I'm going to now, just based off the first part of the book. Like, fantastic. I'm excited to see what parts two and three hold. The camps in these trees are so thanks for kickstarting me towards reading it. That's high praise. That is high praise. Especially coming from you. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just from me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Yeah, anytime, anytime you want to go kill racists, let me know. We got this. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Little bolt action rifle. All right. Now where are we going? <laughs> well, I was trying to give him uh some Tom Selleck vibes. Like he he's our uh our Magnum P.I. <laughs> I, I don't know why. Oh, it's because they were telling me I need to grow out the mustache so that I can get a handlebar. And in the process, I've turned him into Tom Selleck. But also, Sam Elliott and Roger Moore also makes a good. Strauss, what the fuck you want, man? 
Thank you. Do you need me to go fucking well enough, I guess. break fingers again for the mob? The pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Morgan? Uh, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Doesn't come matter on. how much money I put in the damn pot. Y'all still bitch that it ain't enough. By the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was... Gwen Hughes. And how many was. Think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> Strauss wants some noodles. All right. Well, I, I, don't, I don't. That was fun talking to you, Strauss. I'm real happy we had that moment. God damn. All right, well, let's go. Let's go check out what the the Garys want. Gracie's Grays, whatever the fuck their names are. Hercules, where are you? There's my damn horse. How are you today, Arthur? Arthur Morgan and the Strauss Dance Kid. Is that him? Yeah, that's Hunkulees. I can never tell which horse is mine. Primarily because I meant to keep the other horse, the Clydesdale looking one, and instead I ended up with Hercules, um, which became Hunkulees because I, I thought it was the other horse. Been, been a long road to, to end up with Hunkulees here. Which gun has 200? Oh, okay, that one. Wait, why do I have both repeaters? Hang on. Don't run me into any trees. Please. There we go. Alright. Sweet. We did it. Hello, random stranger on the road. Don't say don't say anything snarky or I will kill you. Oh. Oh, now you can jump over shit. Who's firing guns? Oh, you're you're cute. You really are. Here, Ain't nobody robbing trains around here but me, damn it. Oh shit, you might have been a civilian. My bad. I'm sorry, civilian. I was too busy saving you. Oh shit, there's more of them. Hey, how's it going? Hey, ow! That hurts, you son of a bitch. Hold on. Stop it! Oh, son of a... Damn it. I got cocky. I thought I could just execute somebody. Damn it! I'm sorry, Dutch! Look at those pretty clouds. I imagine when you die, you get at least one last chance to look at pretty clouds like that. And then you come back leaning on a tree. My bad. Hercules, why are you standing on the... Are you underneath the train tracks? Why are you even... What the hell? This dumbass horse, I swear to God. How did you get down there? Come on, boy. I guess those train robbers, they can rob a train, too. My bad.
Howdy, fellas. Good morning. You know what I still haven't done? Is uh, roped somebody and dragged them behind my horse. People were telling me to do that, and I haven't done it yet. I'm going to save it for a special occasion sometime tonight. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot I'm a sheriff now. I forgot I'm a, ma a distinguished lawman now. I'm not a wanton murderer anymore. I am a distinguished man of the law. The hell is going on over there? Hang on. Get my horse hitched up to see what the hell's going on over there. If I don't hitch him up, he'll follow me around like a damn crazy man. Or horse. That's right. But, no. but you won't. You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? The iniquities of history. <gasps> Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here. Living in the shit and in the mud. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I'm really happy I stayed to talk to you. My old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed. Repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only. I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson Stead, it's a north of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Harris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Arthur looks so Tiny like uncomfortable putting his hand on somebody's shoulder like there there it looked like he's never comforted anyone before I'd like to rob that bank but I'm a sheriff right now and I can't do that dang it all right, just go, run. Yeah. Yeah. I have no idea where exactly I'm going. I'm just following where the red road takes me. How the hell did I end up outside of town? It'd be so much easier if I brought the damn horse. But I thought it was closer than this. Alright, run again. I feel like Arthur runs weird, but I can't put my finger on why he runs weird. Oh, 
Oh my god, I made it. Hang on. Got a bottle of liquid courage somewhere around here. Oh, uh, wait. Gin. Open gin. Let's just drink the open gin. There we go. And of course, we litter because we can. This is private property. Interlopers are not permitted. We ain't got no work to offer, so go look and see. This here the gray plantation? Yep. Calliga Hall. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on Pull the your gun on me. Be glad I don't drag you behind my horse. And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it. Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. Bastard. All right, what do you got? What do you got to tell me about the Greys? I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the. I'm here to talk about Grey's anatomy. I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the. Did you, did you stop watching after Derek died, or did you keep going? What are they on? Like twenty-five seasons now. All right, who else am I talking to around here? Meredith? That's the only gray I remember. Let me in. Oh, hey, look at you. Boy, what do you know about Meredith Gray? See you at the sheriff's office? Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here. Then suddenly, there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, Looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you what the normal? fuck? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. What in the hell? Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Oh, this is Romeo. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff. Grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderous to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. The Hatfields and the McCoys. And Not that I know which one's dying. which. She, she's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No oh, damn. Money. Well, in that case. I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. Oh, great. So I gotta sneak into the Braithwaite Manor. Alright, honey hunkules, where are you? Oh, I gotta sneak into the grounds. I can't even... Come on, dumb horse. Where are you? Come on. There you are. Glad to see you figured out your ass from your elbow. Good job, horse.
All right. Oh, now you can jump over shit. The amount of times I've died because you haven't been able to jump over shit is ridiculous. Now we're just gonna practice jumping while we run. Just wee. Just working on our horse endurance. Yeah. Up and over. Damn, how far away do these folks live? Do not attack the guards. I don't know if I can handle this mission, y'all. I'm so used to murdering my way through places. I, I don't know if I can uh, sneak my way around. Play so many damn stealth games. This is the first one. Ain't a stealth game. That's all right. No, get back down. Throw a rock to distract him? What do I do? All right, just keep going. Running in a crouched position like this is actually really difficult. Zero out of 10, would not recommend. How big is this damn property? Was she out on the damn lake? Where the hell is she? Oh, the gazebo. Don't mind me just taking a swim on your property. Take her out gigging frogs. I don't right know what gigging frogs means, but uh, that's what we're gonna do. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> Well, it's not from me, it's from, uh... From Bo. Oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different, but if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Mm. <laughs> Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? Ohio can't even catch well, a break in fucking Red Dead Redemption. Was there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are... are There's something else. Hmm. You got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. Uh, all right, then. Maybe a Tell them how you really feel, kid. Here. If you see Bo again, 
Will you give this to him? Oh, God damn it. Sure. Arthur Morgan's mail delivery service. Leave without being seen. Can I take the boat? All right, I'm getting out of here. I'm taking the boat. Stroke, 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 stroke. Dutch, I got us a boat. I did it. I don't, I don't right know where I'm going, but I got us a boat. Oh, son of a bitch. Now I gotta go back all the way to the other guys. How am I supposed to get there on a boat? <laughs> you found a boat and you're having a stroke. All I can ever think of when I hear the, like, rowing and, and they're on a... Or in their saying stroke is uh, the episode of Family Guy where Peter Griffin has a stroke and he crashes the car and then um, the rowing team is going by. Stroke! 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 Stop mocking me! Terrible joke. Terrible joke. Still laugh. Alright, I'm just gonna leave the boat here because I got work to do. Farewell, boat. You served me well to escape that one area, and now I'll never see you again. Alright. Tunkulees, uh-oh. We're out of horse whistling range, you know what that means, right? Time to rustle us up a new horse. Hello? Where's that horse got to? I know, it's like, oh, well, Arthur, you could just get closer to other or to your own horse or I'm trying to rustle a turkey apparently don't ask me why I just saw it gobble gobble bitch get back here you ever lasso a turkey gobble gobble son of a bitch something tells me this is not gonna be easy back here you son of a bitch no damn it Come on, get back here. I don't want to... No, 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 you're... No, you're trying to rope the wrong thing. Oh, God damn it. Trees, ladders. My mortal enemies. Oh, we're close. Get it. Yeah! No! What the hell? Oh, son of a bitch. Damn, things got wings. It can fly. Ish. Can turkeys fly? Turkeys can fly. <laughs> now I'm like, I don't just seem like an idiot. <laughs> Do turkeys fly? Turkeys fly. I'm sure of it. He says fully about 50% sure. <laughs> Get back here, you son of a bitch. I don't know if you can fly, but I know you're delicious. Oh, come on. That one was right on the money. Ah, I'm done with this damn turkey. Damn. All right, I'm too far away from my horse, so somebody's getting hog tied and their horse is getting taken. I'm the sheriff. I deserve it. It's not breaking the law if I do it. It's like cops running a red light. Ooh. Whose horse is this? I don't know, but it's mine now. Come, Come on, calm down. Hey, hey, you son of a bitch. I just want your horse, man. Ow. The hell. Damn it, you done scared your horse off, you son of a bitch. 
All I wanted was your damn horse. Now I gotta take your hat, too. No, I don't want you. Damn it, I just wanted your horse. You know what? I got an idea here. Come put your body on your fire. Come on, baby, light my fire. All right, I'm taking your hat. Hang on, maybe, if the game lets me. Ah, taking your hat. Since I couldn't get your horse, I'm taking your hat. Where'd your horse go? Damn it. You gentlemen look like you're not riding horses either. I better be ready. Y'all gentlemen know anything about a horse a man could steal? I mean, borrow. Howdy. Oh. Oh, God, I didn't mean to get... Oh, oh, well, it's too late now. There's no turning back now. Oh, God! Turns out they were lawmen. And I should not be fighting lawmen. I fucked up, A.A. Ron. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, there's more of them. Oh, God. All this over a damn horse. Oh, uh, come on. Oh, one of them's on a horse. This is my ticket, boys. Come on. I just got that hat, damn it. Shut up! Okay, he died. Now, where'd that horse get off to? I saw a horse. How's it going, Corian? Welcome. Ah, son of a bitch! Why are there so many of you sons of bitches today? Gah! I just want a horse. That's all I'm after. Just let me have your horse and we're done. You son of a bitch. Get off me. You got a horse? Then get the hell off me. Oh fuck, there's a lot of them. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh damn. Oh damn. There were a lot more of them there than I was ready for. Oh, God. Sheriff Buford T. Justice. Hey, I might be closer to a horse now. All it took was die. Hey, look, I'm, I spawned on a horse. Good job, Hunkulees. You know what? I don't. How can I have a bounty when I'm the sheriff? I really want to know. Who's putting a bounty out on one of the sheriffs? Also, Dutch is going to be so damn angry I got a bounty. Oh, hell. Where was I going? I was going to Bo. <laughs> Dutch is a double agent. He's going to be so mad. Well, good news is I can go pay off my... I, I can pay off my bounty, I think. I only killed like five lawmen. It's fine. Honestly, it could have been worse. If I'd have had one of my good guns, would have been a lot worse. So what I'm trying to say, Dutch, is uh, you're welcome.
Is that not... Am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. Eat some cheese! I killed a boar! At least it wasn't a dog I accidentally killed this time. Just give me a minute, boy. Would you, would you say he's a double dutch agent? Oh, oh gross. Oh, wait, what happened to the skin I had on the back before? I don't know. Now we got a new one. If you want the legit reason, because his daddy palps wouldn't let him, basically. And what is, what is uh, strength but not overcoming adversity? Or some shit that you would tell your apprentice if you wanted to keep him down. I'm the god Don't you guys have better things to do like marrying your sister? I hit the wrong button, oh god. Again. How dare you? <laughs> I was just passing through. Don't mean to intrude on your politics. Pussies. Howdy, guys. Remember me? I'm working for the Grays now. All right. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Talk your shit. Oh, I tried to jump over that and I could just go through it. I'm gonna fuck up your garden. I'm gonna leave my horse right here to shit on these giant green bushes. It's fine. Huncules will follow me in a second anyway. Do I have any more of that moldy cheese to eat? I guess I'll eat salted beef. Bow, weird ass bow. Where the hell are you? Stop petting your horse, which I'm pretty sure is a uh, sure. euphemism. Give anything for me. Come get your damn shit. Might I have it? Sure, but it'll cost you. Ah. Uh. I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, I died you, today getting you this letter. Thank you. You're welcome. My God. What a woman. She's. What do you think she wrote in there? What? Women's suffrage. Oh, Here, never mind. Like men voting. They bring back the monarchy given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me. I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. What the hell is happening around these parts? They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta have Say what I'm now? I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family. We've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Just the way he said, we don't, they don't even like men voting, but sure, I'm, I, they'll be fine with me marrying my cousin. Ah. Oh. Right. Follow me to Rhodes. 
Regulators, come on, come on. mount up. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. It really does check out, but like, what the fuck? That doesn't make it good. Oh god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! Oh god! Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't anybody concern yourself. I'm fine. Uh, you can, buddy. Because, of course, we're in the South, so they're going to build a lot of statues. Trust me, boy. Based on what I know about the South, they're not going to build a statue to a woman's suffragette. Or to a suffragette. They, they, <laughs> they build the wrong kind of statues, boy. Do something, please. What? Fight this mob, Hell no, these are <laughs> these are a lot scarier than the bandits I normally fight. Protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to What the hell? How did I get roped into driving the wagon? This is some bullshit. Miss Calhoun, my friend here says he can drive the wagon. When did I say shit? Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, oh my I god. I've never been in a protest march before, madam. <laughs> well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you feel right at home. Shall we go? <laughs> All, right, I, all right, you know what? We know I'm digging, I'm starting to get the appeal of this game. Finally starting to really get it. Because so far tonight, I killed a bunch of Confederate wannabes alongside my good friend Lenny. And now I'm helping these women write for <laughs> March for Voting Rights. For Arthur is progressive as fuck. Mr. Morgan, not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. We sing for very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm oh, just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun, or maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, that's what they all say. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. They're going to shoot at us. Oh, they're going to shoot at us, Miss Calhoun. Oh, this is gonna go so badly, but I'm gonna get to kill so many misogynists. I already killed racists, now I'm about to kill misogynists. Yes, sir, I did find incest Romeo and Juliet. Right now, I'm helping fight for women's voter rights. Equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Oh my God, I hate you. Fair, equal and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Oh, yeah. Founding fathers, not founding mothers. You silly old goat. I'm gonna enjoy beating your ass. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. 
I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. Why does he look like Wish.com Matthew Gray Gubbler? The guy from Criminal Minds? That's who he reminds me of. Who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Hit me? Oh, Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. <laughs> he kind of does, right? We are all Americans. We got to go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Please let them think twice. Please let them think twice. I really want to do some. I really want to do some ass kicking. Come on. I got to kill racists, let me kill misogynists too. You Come on. Go back and hear the speeches. I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. <laughs> I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me, <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of 10 minutes. <laughs> the sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean? We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't, right? You know, and Penelope said. Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters, I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. Oh, sorry. I got distracted. I, I got this thing called attention deficit. My cousins are vindictive bastards. Um, shit, I forgot. What was I saying? My vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. Squirrel! I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so. Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. <laughs> I really love her, I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! That doesn't oh, make any well, sense, Star Xerxes. I don't know. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Have you tried hey, turning it me. off and turning it back on again? All right, well, we got some money, so can't complain about that. I should really go pay off this bounty real quick. I can't go around being the... Um, being the sheriff and having a bounty on my damn head. It really does fix so many issues. And my favorite part of it is when... Um, um, when people say they did, and you're like, well, just now that you're on the phone with me, why don't you go ahead and do it again? Just one more try. We'll just give it a try. And then they do, and next thing you know, it's working fine. And it's like, you didn't turn it off last time, did you? You just wanted me to come up with a better solution that you liked more. Oh my god, that boar just came across its boar friend who I skinned and left there and was like, Gary? <laughs> the tragedy of the skinned pig. I just love that another pig came back to be like, hey, <laughs> like, what happened to my buddy here?
Oh my god, so one of my least favorite stories with IT was, um, flip the switch on the, um, on the outlet, on the, um, or change the outlet, maybe. Oh, sh she means change the outlet, like, no, 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 yeah, that's what she means, and then they find out it wasn't plugged in in the first place. My favorite was I had a lady who was so just utterly livid on the phone that none of her stuff was even, like, was working right. And I asked her, I was like, you know, well, is everything turned on? And she said, of course it is. Got real bitchy with me. And I said, okay, well, let's let's take a look here. She's like, it's just black on the screen. And I was like, all right, well, on the box there, do you see a light? And she goes, it doesn't have a light. And I said, well, that's weird. It should have a light. And I was like, can you check where it's plugged into? She goes, it's plugged into a power strip. And I'm like, all right, well, you just check the power strip for me. You know, will you just make sure it's... And all of a sudden, it just gets quiet for a second. I'm like, what's going on? And she goes, oh, my God. And I'm like, what? And she goes, I'm so sorry. She goes, the power strip was turned off. And then she was super nice to me, and everything worked out fine. But she had been a total bitch for, like, ten minutes, only to find out all it was... The price tag on little old you. Was that she didn't have the power strip turned on? Thanks, Mister. I love people. Fucking hate people. All right, where are we going now? So nothing was working until I realized the power strip. And here's the thing: I don't mind that happening. You know, your power strip gets turned off. You didn't realize it wasn't plugged in. That's fine. Just don't start off by being an asshole to me like it's my fault stuff isn't working. Only to find out, oh, it was your fault the whole time. Oh, uh, hold on. I gotta be a horse girl for a second. Here you go, Hunkulees. Have a piece of moldy cheese or something. Or a carrot. That's a good Hunkulees. You okay, boy? They take flights or drive hours just to find out they didn't reboot something or something. Oh, I can't imagine. People paid hundreds for them being morons. Oh my god. I can imagine the ass chewing people get for that. Oof. Yep. Alright, you know what I want to do, but I can't do it yet. Hang on, I gotta get outside of town. I still haven't dragged anybody behind my horse yet. I have to find somebody to drag behind. Oh, hey, look! There's a couple of fellers right here. Oh, no, that's fine. There's two of them. We'll find somebody by themselves. Trying to help their dad turn off their computer, and it runs out. Oh, shit! What the hell? Oh, my God! The racist stun found me! Hunkulees, give me my damn rifles! No, not that one, Hunkulees! That one! Fuck you, racists! Lemoyne, don't forget these nuts! Hey, get off my nuts, buddy! Lemoyne Justice, my ass! Oh god, I'm fading, Lord! I'm fading! Not today, Satan! Don't worry, Dutch, I'll kill the racists! I'm coming for you, buddy! Yeah! You just say, what's that for? You attack me, you one-eyed piece of shit. 
Bastards! <laughs> Twitch blocked the word moron. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, Hunkules, calm down. They ain't that bad. I took care of them. Come here. Calm down. Now I gotta brush you again a little bit so you feel better. Got to be a horse girl again. <laughs> All right. Good boy. Station owners oh, weren't man. so smart. One guy's gas station was on fire and he kept calling us and not the fire department. Oh my god, that's the worst. I remember trying to explain to people why in home security I couldn't open their door remotely. Like they were they were all big mad. They were like, "Oh, you can't why can't you open my door?" And I was like, "Do you really want me states away to be able to unlock your door?" And they were like, well, I don't care. I need somebody to unlock my door. And I was like, well, that's what they have locksmiths for. She was not happy about that. Your defiance, because I never liked being told what to do. I just laugh of all the things we say and type on stream that moron was the word that got blocked. Of all the things that get said. Oh no, 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 not the trees! Alright, now... Oh god, I don't like this already. I need wood so bad, you guys. All right, Bill, what does Bill want? Bill needs to speak to you. And Abigail needs to speak to you. All right, well, Bill, you're closer, so I guess I'll talk to you first. Damn it. Where you at, Bill? Arthur, we need to talk to you. What is it? Yeah, yeah. Hi, yeah, Bill. Cooking, you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Sodom, back to Gomorrah. You went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know. I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? It was just one of them days oh, where you don't want to get up. It's Everybody a point, sucks. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> I can't rob a bank. I'm a sheriff right now. Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. It's also a difference well, between insulting quiet, someone and if swearing. There's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk. Like, it's that's like when my kids were small and they would say, like, Is you know, ah, frick good? you. Or and it's like, I know what you yes. mean. It's the end of the stock sale. And it's different Anywhere when you stub your toe and you go, fuck, versus when you say, fuck you. All right. I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. So I don't think it's necessarily a matter of cussing so much as it is intent. Okay. So, Bill... This better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. All right, Bill, what do we got? All right. Let's go. Ooh, I get to wear a Stop costume. Hey, Strauss. That man. The data. What Thomas in the Stiles hell are you wearing? Dead. dead? Huh. Well, oh, no. Very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. He lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves. Is that my What's fault because I didn't get there fast enough? As a uh, distraction. 
Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, let's move out. It... <laughs> I will tell you this this way, Darth Xerxes. This is how I say it. Like, one, I disagree. People can have dumb moments. It's like there are no small parts. There are only small actors. Um, but, like, we're arguing semantics about it, but, like, people can be dumb. I would not say that people are dumb. In, you know what I mean? Especially when I'm talking to a kid. And the reason I say it's so important with children is... The more I'm going to, I'm going to preach for half a second and I don't want to miss what they're saying here. Um, I just want to say this one thing. Um, the more you do anything, the easier it becomes. And whether that is the more you go on runs, the more accl acclimated your body will become to running, the more you cook, the better you'll become as a cook. The more you talk down to people, the more you insult people, the more you yell at people for whatever reason, whether they deserve it or not, the easier it becomes to do that in general. So if you're just joking, even when you're joking around with your friends and you're calling them dumb, it becomes easier and easier to insult people in general. And so I would, tr I try to have my children just not insult people whether they're being like, again, there is a difference between you're being dumb and you are dumb. You know, there's a difference between like you're being stupid right now or that was a stupid thing to do and you are stupid. You know what I mean? Because one is a state of being that like you're just implying that's what they are. You know what I mean? And I, I get how it, like, it sounds like it's semantics, but like semantics are important. Language is important. Um, that's not calling you specifically out. I didn't want it to, I don't want it to feel like that. I'm just saying in general. And like I said, I didn't want to miss what's going on here because I always do that. And then I always miss what's going on. I need to get better at doing that so that I can not miss what's going on. She's got him distracted. We'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only I knew a you would. Guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh. And did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan, I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. Got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Right? Yes, I know, Morgan. I have a feeling you're gonna get us in trouble, Bill. Oh, damn. My perspective when I was a kid. I understand. But, you know, an eye for an eye leaves the whole world blind and all that. But I understand. And again, I'm not saying anybody's right or wrong. The only thing I'm saying right or wrong is these fellers right here that we're about to go rob. Yeah, the bank we're about to rob. The, that's right. Any fellers will get murdered along the way? Right. Oh, that would look like it. That looks like an awful cliff to fall down. Uh, that's gonna happen to me later, I'm sure. Or maybe I'll drop somebody else off that cliff. Buffalo! I know they're bison.
Bye, son. Hey, what are you doing out here all by yourself? Great way to get dropped off one of those big mountains over there. Oh, damn. Sorry, my murderous instincts almost got me. They almost got me in trouble. I caught up. It's fine. There are a lot of ways to quantify intelligence, Darth Xerxes. For example, there's emotional intelligence as well as book smarts and reading and street smarts. There are a lot of different ways to quantify intelligence. And, like, I know what you said about, like, you've been trying to deal with that, but that feeling of superiority right there in the words, I was smarter than other children, like... I love how TikTok just yelled at me and said the game's content of your live is not suitable for younger audiences. You may consider tagging this live as age protected. I already did. Why are you yelling at me, TikTok? I already made it um, age protected. Also, like, that's you telling me this two hours in? I've committed wanton murder already by this point. Like, I love that it tells me that, like, when I'm riding through town, but not when I'm killing misogynists and racists. Exactly, Mama P. We're all, we all have our own, um, our own areas of expertise. We have our own moments where we seem really smart. But, you know, it's important to understand that because of that, we're all smart sometimes. Like, I'm really good at making myself seem smart in almost any situation. Um, but a lot of it is surface level. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, here we are. Okay, get ready. <laughs> All right, let's uh, okay. go to work. Let's go rob us a bank, boys. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellers. You know, I've been meaning to come back to Valentine's sometime, but this wasn't exactly how I planned to do it. Do y'all mind if I go get a haircut real quick? Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Hmm. What do we want? Do we want the drunken girl, the lost girl, or the drunken harlot? So which one? Why am I even asking you? It's the harlot. <laughs> you You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, Zolania. Now where is he? If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. <laughs> That's why I'm wearing the bandana. Okay, we're going. No, hold on. Wait till she's got him real down. Don't act like you don't know me. Oh. Guys, I didn't bring my rifle. I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn hands up. Here we go. Show her up. Nobody move. Don't make us hurt you. Here, unlock the door. Unlock the door. I don't know what I'm doing here, but... Oh. 
Okay, open the door. Hang on, which door? This door? Sure, hey. Open the vault. Open the vault. Open it faster. How's it looking? Are you in? Nearly. This son of a bitch needs to get a move on. If I shoot him in the damn leg, do you think he'll move any? Move! Bitch, hurry up! God damn! Oh my god, hurry up! I'm gonna beat him again! Yeah. I'm in! Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here! Come here! <laughs> Open the lock boxes now! Am I standing where I'm supposed to be? Who's that handsome fella on the wall? Oh my god, Bill. Blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. <laughs> oh, I'm not I'm not I'm not cracking them. We got to move before they blow. The law will be all over us. Now, you shut the hell up and be still. All right. Well, this is going to work well. Oh no, it's it's like last time where I I didn't know if I lit the fuse or not. Oh no, this is going to be bad. Hey, keep still. If I see that leg, Hang on, there's there's a lot of them here. Hang on. Listen. Oh, shut up. Alright, here we go. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. All right, see, that's what I was waiting for last time. If you stop a bank stagecoach, you can pick the lock. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Hey, I got him. Now just take all the stuff out of here. Do 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 do. Take my time. Three thousand dollars. We need to get out. Four thousand dollars. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. Oh, this is nice. People should rob banks more often. Nope, it's never enough. Well, I'm ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. All right, now I got the money. Hurry. We seem to have some company. Oh, I'm ready. Sorry, partner. Shit. Hurry up. I said come out now. The Wyatt Earp over there. If the shooting starts, you're all dead. I'll go. Follow me. What are you insane? Probably. Don't shoot. Don't shoot him. I made a terrible mistake. Get out of there, miss. Sorry. <laughs> Come on, let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Can't shoot their ass anymore. Let him go. How come every time we come to this godforsaken town, I gotta deal with these fuckers? Who is shooting me right now and why is the answer everybody? Hit somebody, Arthur, goddamn! What the hell are you doing? Shoot somebody, you son of a bitch!
this is why I didn't want to leave the damn rifles on the horse. Hunkulees! Give me the good rifles! This is better. Wait, ow, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, that guy survived? Oh no, that's a new one. Hey, buddy! Oh! Oh, right in the gut! That's gonna suck! There are literally going to be no people left in Valentine by the time we're done with this. Come on. This is the second St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Let's go! Ride, Hunkulees! Ride! You know, I'd love just one place in this godforsaken world where we can ride and I don't have to worry about being a wanted man. Y'all wouldn't know anything about that, though, would you? At least when I commit wanton murder, it's quiet. I dump the bodies in the river and it's fine. Of course there are. Don't worry, I got it. That would be pretty awesome to have a um, history books full of um, like the fake history of this world. What's the, I think the only problem is like, what's the canonical history? Cause like, we also have the, um, Arthur, the fucking Lemoyne murderer, whatever we want to call him, who puts, uh, bodies on the back of horses and then sends them off into the middle of nowhere. How are you missing completely? Thank you. Oh my god! Could y'all quit? Just somebody at some point needs to accept that death is the only thing that comes from all this. Y'all want me to race a train? Oh my god! Oh, I really thought I was about to die for a second there. Alright. I think we lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill... <laughs> This is a very good take. Buy and read the That's newspaper the after this quest. It it's not a history book, but it's something. It Wait, you can read the newspaper? How is that something I still don't know I could do? Don't head directly back to camp and make sure you ain't followed. Oh my gosh. Oh, Mrs. Downs. That's right. We gotta go find Mrs. Downs. I hear she's. I hear we've got to go take care of the Mrs. Down syndrome. No? Is that a little too culturally insensitive? Not culturally, just in general. Arthur can read? 
Go back to Valentine like nothing ever happened and buy a newspaper there. Huh. Listen, I used to tell people, like, you know, my- this is my really bad joke. I apologize for this. It's offensive. Don't use this joke. But I used to tell people, I'm like, how about instead of saying, you know, they're- so-and-so has Down syndrome, you just refer to it as like, oh, he's a little Downsy. You know, because it sounds kind of cute. Like, oh, he's a little Downsy. Like, but I'm like, it's just meant to be funny, but it's it's not. It's hurtful. Don't say that. <laughs> Elements like clipped and canceled. I I deserve it. I deserve it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I have, I have a lot of inappropriate, terrible jokes that I don't say anymore. You go AFK until you hear something potentially career-breaking. Hey, you gotta have somebody there who's ready, who's cheering for your fall, right? <laughs> that's, that's an important thing. What in the hell? There's a rustle of birds? Sound like a bunch of... Sound like a bunch of guns. All being cocked at the same time. <laughs> cocked. Nope, yeah, th no, there are actual jokes that are, like, harmful that I, I won't say anymore either, but that, that one I feel like it's silly enough that, like, yeah, you, I wouldn't, I'm not actually using it, we'll be fine. Come back here. I'm sorry. Your Anna. husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. <laughs> I hope it's I've done an terrible, awful Mrs. lot of it, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, Dance. I feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? <laughs> God you got damn. no lazy eye. No respect for the lack of Bombastic side Maybe eye. your mother's finished mourning your father. I'll keep her in black on your behalf. Oh, God. You think on that point. God damn, maybe Arthur. Shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs. Thank God you for damn. Your it's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Now, this is the guy that I beat up. The, like, this is his family, the guy I beat up earlier, right? Okay. I thought so, I couldn't remember. Also, which guy you beat up? I, you know what I meant. I've beat up a lot of people. But yeah, the guy who said, this action will... Oh, oh you said it. I thought... For half a second, I thought he said, this action will have consequences, and then he fucking died. <laughs> I just have been like, y you're right. It did have action. It did have consequences. <laughs> That's just the plot of Monty Walsh. <laughs> this action will have consequences. Dead. That fucking music creeps me out all the time because I forget which game I'm playing and I hear this like creepy operatic music coming out of the camp and I, every time I'm just like, what? All right, I need a nap. That's, that's a lot we've been through today. Also, I haven't eaten dinner in like forever and it looks like dinner's done. Shut up! I want to eat dinner too. Everybody else is eating. Hey, Arthur. 
Let's no, don't talk to me. I want to eat. Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Breakaway place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Jose <laughs> show up to sell them. <laughs> Shoot a guy in there. I do that okay. too. That's like every time, like, what is it? Um, okay, sweet, I can eat. Um, the one that gets me is because I go from this to The Last of Us Part 2. And so, like, all the time I'll be like, ah, yeah, I know how to shoot people. And I get to that game and, like, everything is different. <laughs> all the buttons are different. And so it's just, like, ten minutes of me going, ah, oh, my God, what am I doing? Where's my flashlight? Why can't I run? Trying to remember how to sprint when I went back, when I switched from this to The Last of Us Part 2 the first time. I I could not remember how to sprint and it got me killed like three times because I had to jump and sprint. Uncle, shut the hell up. And that'd be the best decision I ever took. <laughs> Uncle, leave these damn women alone. Oh, God, who wants me now? You're walking. You're only walking when you're not cooking. You're only not cooking when there's not enough food. You're a silver tongue flatterer. No mistake. I'll go put more money in the thing, and then you leave me the hell alone. You just speed run, speed finished speed running Resident Evil 8. So I'm gonna chill and grab some grub. Yikes! Just finished speed running. I can't even. That that takes a special. I mean, I guess once you're used to it and you know what's coming, I guess I get it. But. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but um the idea of speed running any resident evil game gives me like speed running anything is out of my wheelhouse but here I'll, I'll give you a little more money hang on let me contribute a little more what else am i gonna do with this money pay off my bounty nah fuck that i'm gonna contribute Give you guys some of my hard-earned money so you get the hell off my back for a little bit. How's that sound, Dutch? Keep it coming. There. I'm a good person. Don't mind the murder. <laughs> it's completing a mission before the next meeting starts. <laughs> yes. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm afraid. Unk, get the hell away from me. I'm telling you. It always is. You can't speed run Sonic the Hedgehog. I can't speed run anything. I appreciate people who can. I cannot either. I'm trying to think, is there any game I could even attempt to speed run? Oh, I was gonna... I was gonna... Um, take a nap. That's right. It's not an impressive one. You used weapons with infinite ammo and played it on the easiest difficulty. Nice! I need to do that. That's how I need to play Resident Evil. Easiest difficulty, no weapon, or no, um, or infinite ammo. I'd still, I'd still freak out all the time. It's fine, we'll get there. I, where the hell is my bed? I don't even fucking remember. Oh, there it is. Um, I will tell you guys, I did. It will eventually be on the list, probably in October. I did buy Resident Evil 2 because it was 10 bucks. And I couldn't not do it. So I bought the, the remaster of Resident Evil 2. So eventually, eventually we'll play that. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just want to take a nap. What the hell are y'all going on about? They're laughing at me. You think this is the way to a man's affection? 
action, small bean. I'm just going to ignore this and pretend I didn't hear anything. Do, 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 take a nap. Mom and dad are fighting again. Speedrun Far Cry 4 when Pagan Min says to wait, you can wait 10 minutes, they'll come back and the game will end. Ha! Huh. Interesting. When is Molly going to realize she's the beard for Dutch and Hosea? Good question. Also, I thought Dutch and Hosea were out at the moonshine place. But I guess it's just Hosea. Alright, I gotta learn how Arthur can read real quick. Hang on. What? Are you here to arrest me? Okay, hang on. Because I gotta go back to Valentine. Damn, Valentine's a hell of a long ways away. Maybe I don't want to go back to Valentine. Nope. And I got a huge bounty. Nope, just going over here. Never mind. I have heard, so, I have heard that Resident Evil 2 Remake is pretty rough. Um, I've heard that it's, uh, it's also pretty scary, too. Um, E-Ray was telling me about that. Like, according to him, it was, in his opinion, the scariest Resident Evil game. By the way, you can make some extra cash by ra breaking wild horses and stealing stagecoaches and selling them at fences with minimal damage. I haven't even met a single fence yet. Can I tell you that? Or, or at least haven't done anything with any fences. Other than break or fall over fences. Like literal fences, not like selling fences. Dutch and Hosea teach him to read, didn't they? I don't know. All right, who's over here? Hey, Arthur, what are you doing? Selling it back to. Oh, him. is it Sean and Hosea wow. were over here? They okay. The they made it. They must have someone to sell it to. Oh, okay. okay. So you're right. I guess I have met me a fence. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. <laughs> duty. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. Oh, it was John. Okay, you that's who that was. I fucking. I still can't tell half these people apart. Oh, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizen. You're right. I, I think I do remember that, that Arthur brought that up when he was talking with Charles. I'll stop being too silly about it. I do remember something about them teaching him everything, including how to read and stuff. So much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a great boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying oh God. a secret affair. I've been I went the wrong way and now I'm in the trees. The mind oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Jose, it's fine. It's fine. We got this. We got back to the road. Well, see? Sure Never didn't have it. I knew what I was doing. This deer is going to get run over by this stagecoach. Oh, it got away. Damn. Ding, 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 ding. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Now, this is the first time I'm seeing the Braithwaite estate from the front. My fine fellow, may I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Oh my. Braithwaite, may I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. Now, wait just a damn second. She's at the house. 
We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. Yeah, it is a pretty house. All these sorts of houses are real pretty. Why don't we ask the Braithwaites how they paid for this house? Like, what kind of work were they doing? Out in the hills, thought, thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. <laughs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Oh my. I'm here to rob you. How's it going? It seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Why not do a deal? Hosea, this lady's the perfect age for you. Get in there and get us a new house. Come on, see, you're all cleaned up. You're in your Sunday best. Boys, be nice to your new stepdaddy. See, she likes it. Pleasure doing business with you. And... Listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Oh, oh my. Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra <laughs> ten bucks if you do. Thank you, that nerdy Papa Bear. So, for the people who haven't heard the story, when I was in high school, I did Of Mice and Men, and I started talking like this. I was, I was John, or George, George, um, and I started talking like this for the show, and two months through rehearsal, plus the show itself, and I couldn't stop talking like this. And so then, now whenever I play Red Dead, I gotta cowboy it up a little bit. Started archiving your anime Blu-rays into flash drives. You have like ten. Holy, Jesus! That's a lot. That's a lot of anime. That that, that is a lot. To need to watch Django? Have you never seen Django Unchained, or do you just need to see it again, Darth Xerxes? This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. You have never... Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Neither of you have ever watched it. We're going to have to have, like, a movie night. In the Discord or something, because I love Django Unchained. It's a good movie. You know my feelings about that. The only Tarantino mind. film you've seen is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Idiot. Of all the ones to see, to be your only one. The I didn't love Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Keep quiet. Um, that would probably possibly be my least favorite. Ta I really like Tarantino. As a writer, most of the time, I have my beefs with him, but I find his movies entertaining. For the most part, I don't like his thing with the N word, but <laughs> like his thing with feet is fine. That being said, I I did just praise. Oh shit! Oh oh god! Fences! Oh god! Oh god! I did that on purpose, Jose. My bad. I like Tarantino's dialogue. Like I do think that he writes dialogue very well. And and some of my favorite like. There, he, he's he's made quite a few scenes that I really enjoy, but there are there are problems with with everything. I have a pipe. It's 
If it helps, I can't think of any scene of Tarantino's that like pops in my head first that involves feet. Not that they're not that they don't exist and stuff. I'm saying when I think of scenes that I really enjoy. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys? Can I keep this pipe, Jose? One for each of you. I like the pipe. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. What in the Go hell are we doing? Just hand out the liquor. This feels like a bad thing. See, Pulp Fiction is one of those. There are scenes I really like in Pulp Fiction. There are things I don't. Um, my name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar in this year town are entirely free. I need to I need to get caught up on Doctor Who. I really do. I can agree with that element of Pulp Fiction with the actors make that movie. I can agree with that. Oh, no, raise the bottle. Oh, and raise the glass. Okay. Wait, pour bottle? Oh, okay. There we go. I'm like, what am I doing? I'm a bartender. Oh, that way. Okay, there we go. I'm terrible about... I'm terrible at this. Here's my thing. I really liked, um, I really liked Jodie Foster, Jodie Foster. That's not what I meant. Um, I liked Jodie as the doctor. I think the problem was the writing, not her. She was great. Um, I don't think Chris Chibnall was, I don't like some of the things that Chris Chibnall decided to do with the doctor. Don't worry, I got the hang of slinging drinks now. Go. Want to watch? Oh, oh God. Good evening, gentlemen. Y'all look like a bunch of racists too. Gonna buy. Oh, shucks. Come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn lick. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh. I have not. I have not seen that. You boys are interrupting my time as a bartender, damn it. I was living out my fantasies. This is what I was gonna do when I retire. And no, you wanted to interrupt. Run these nuts! All I wanted to do was be a quiet bartender. Oh, God damn it, Hosea. You son of a bitch! I thought I could run up and attack him, and instead, um, he, uh, uh, d damn. Damn. So Wes Anderson-style Star Wars and a Wes Anderson Lord of the Rings. That, that sounds pretty great, I'll say that. All right, come on, let's try it again. Where the hell are you shooting? What the fuck are you doing, Arthur? Shoot him in the dick. When in doubt, aim for the dick. We run the liquor out here. Stay the hell out of our business. 
I don't wanna. I just wanted to be a bartender, and you wouldn't let me. Oh, oh, oh there you got that guy. Come on, get up here. I'm coming, damn it. All right. I got it. Oh, son of a bitch. Hey, buddy. Oh, oh, God damn it again. All right, that, that one was my fault. I was trying to shoot him in the dick. That was my bad. All right, let's try this again, damn it. What does that man take seven bullets? What the hell, man? Oh, come on. Just trying to shoot a man in the dick. But fine. You have an iron dick? What the hell, man? How is that man not dead? Jesus. I'm pinned down. You're not helping much, Hosea. All right, damn it. Hi. Nice to see you. Oh my God. Well, that, that's fine. You know, you don't need to keep calling me Fenton at this point. I think we're fine. Yep. I'm getting this out of here. Ain't gonna let this go, are they? Over there! They got our back! Got more coming after us. I see them. Well, shoot them then. Fuck off, old man. You got misery coming your way, ah. traitor. Hi, this Arthur, coming out of the alley. We run the liquor out ah. here. You run these nuts! Oh god. Please don't run these nuts. Yeah, why am I not wielding both guns? The hell? <laughs> don't worry, Dutch, we didn't we didn't start any problems in town. Things went great. We solved a few. Oh my god! How many bullets can you take, man? Oh my god. Are you shooting at me through the train? What the hell is going on? I like that his horse is still running. Hey, I guess. I hoped you wouldn't. Just trying to tend bar, and you guys wanted to be. Oh my god! Stop shooting at me! I'm dying, damn it! What? Come on now! All right, then, here we go again. Damn it, Fenton. Good thing you ain't a part of Dutch's crew, because he wouldn't like this. I'm getting this out of here. Ain't gonna let this go, are they? Over there! They got out the Got more coming after us. I see them. Well, shoot them then. Shut up, Hosea. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> All their horses! <laughs> oh shit. More of them! 
These guys ain't even on horses. Oh my god. How many bullets do you take? Go down. God damn. Some of these guys take like 30 bullets to go down. Oh my god. I do love Nick Cage. I really do. Renfield was good. I like Renfield. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I don't want to advertise. I want to bartend. Damn it! I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Nick Cage is your second voice. Some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again. Explain? I'm like, what do you mean by that? He thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. I'm retiring. I'm changing my name to Fenton, and I'm becoming a bartender. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys think? They want to pick a new name. Fenton was causing some problems. Both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states. And to Arthur Callahan. I want is to get us in Sheriff. Trouble, we need money. We have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something. Ain't nobody gonna know we was here because even without us, these. I just robbed a bank and made like five thousand dollars, like a lot of thousands of dollars. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor too. Now you can meet up with them or join John and Javier at the Grays. Oh my God, Dutch! This is gonna work out poorly. I already know it. Place. Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. Oh my god. We gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Oh my we're god, Dutch. The dog, Dutch. Not the other lot will be long gone. Dutch, that. you know I love you, but Dutch, what are you doing? Payback. What did it take all of two weeks for Dutch to go we from to we should be uh <clears throat> We should be happy here for a long time to we should rob everybody and run. Excuse me, Arthur. I got to write a letter. Damn it, Dutch. I'm beginning to have trouble trusting your leadership skills at this point. I would like a haircut, Dutch, but I guess that's going to be out of the picture for a moment. I guess I'll just have to do with a shave.
Well, Pa made this long ass hair down. What do we what do we want to do now? You wanna just get rid of everything again? You wanna go full Wolverine again? Hmm. I don't know, I'm kinda digging Tom Selleck Arthur. It's kinda it's kinda doing it for me. I don't think so. This is still at a four. We'll we'll keep going for the gunslinger. Or the handlebar, but for right now we're still we're still stuck here, so Tom Selleck it is. All right, do I want to join the Hatfields or the McCoys? The Greys or the Braithwaite? Well, the Greys know me as a sheriff. Fucking hate Arthur Freudian slip there. Tell us how you really feel. Okay, now the Greys know me as the sheriff. I feel like the Braithwaites, on the other hand, know me as a dude who, um, a dude who sold them moonshine. I feel like I'm gonna have better luck with the Greys than with the Braithwaites. I feel like that's where I gotta go. Because the Braithwaites, I'm gonna have to explain to them that my name ain't Fenton. And that ain't a conversation worth having yet. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. Morgan. Oh my god, not again, Reverend. What? Hello. Go away. Yeah, thank you. Goodbye. All right, let's go find John and Javier. Go find JJ. Come on, Dutch. We can't put any metal on. Just imagine Dutch playing ACDC. I'm back in black, Dutch. I'm on the highway to hell. Enough out of you, Arthur. Oh, God. Uh, what just happened? Howdy there, stranger. Oh, hey there. Why don't you join me and have a seat over here by by the fire? Oh. Hmm. The fire. Well, what you doing there, buddy? Am I about to get oh, drunk in the park with a strange man? Fire's real warm. Is this a serial killer? Mr. Bundy, how's it going? Bone dry. Sins I'm carrying around. You won't even believe. But if I had a little whiskey to loosen up my tongue a little, I might. I might. Are you it. trying to bribe me with some whiskey? You know what? Here, tell me your tell me your sins. Make it worth my while, or else you're going behind my horse. I'm going to drag you around for a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. Only fitting that I'd be drinking the devil's brew. I'll be seeing him soon enough. What did you do? You're... You are a place called Four Rigs? South of Strawberry. Kept Indians penned in their lock cattle. Oh my god! I ain't know what's worse. 
See, the ones we kill, watch the other ones die. Slow way. Oh, I'm gonna kill you. Well, they pay well. <laughs> but Dutch said, well, voice. fuck you then. But money <laughs> don't last long. That's hilarious. All right, well, you did. you're a piece of shit, and I'm not going to feel bad about this. Oh, it won't let me hurt him now? Fine, it won't let me do the other stuff, so I guess I got to shoot you. I just wanted to hog tie you and drag you behind my horse, but I guess that works too. Can I have my whiskey back? Damn it. Listen, it's not my fault. I did everybody a favor. He was out there. You heard him talking about what he did at Fort Riggs. I just hurried his way on to the devil. We're fine. This is fine. I don't feel bad about that one. Honestly, at this point, I don't really feel bad about any of them, but... All right, where are we going? Okay, I do feel bad about the dog. You're right. I do feel bad about the dog. I feel really bad. I thought it was a boar. It was a dog. I, I thought it was a doe, a deer, a female deer. Ray, a drop of golden. Oh, sorry. Uh, that's how they taught me uh, to music. I was going to say to read, but then I realized that that's not words. Serious philosophical questions. You believe anyone can be redeemed? I believe redemption is in the eyes of the people who were wronged. So I feel like you can be redeemed in the eyes of the people that you wronged. Um, but I don't necessarily believe in like some sort of eternal yeah. redemption, if you will. But I believe with work, you, one could be redeemed in the eyes of the people they hurt, if that makes sense. All right, time to come find Romeo and his family. Where the, where's John and Javi? Boys? Horse flesh for dinner? Excuse me? Oh, they're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. I mean, I, in, I don't necessarily agree with that. I'm like, uh, forgiveness, uh, different people forgive differently. And so I would say that uh, you never know how someone might feel. Like, forgive and, you know, forgive but not forget kind of thing. Would that be enough to redeem them? I don't know. That ain't a question for me to answer. my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. He made me a sheriff. Mr. Gray here was saying how he... Where's my sheriff badge? A family of the... Oh, God damn it. Well, nobody likes the... Who took my badge? Inbred sons. They ruined this county. He killed my uncle, you know. Absolutely, I understand that, Xerxes. We can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. 
We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. Good God. Look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them they'll get you. Five thousand. And I pray that you're never in that sort of position. For horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. I don't know if I like this much. Why are we selling horses? Weird. Well, see, I figured that if I went to the Greys first, since the Greys know me as the sheriff's dep as a sheriff, which apparently I lost my damn badge somewhere, um, that they would treat me better. You should see the Braithwaite woman. The Braithwaite woman thinks I'm Fenton, the moonshine dealer. No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. Make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5000 on horses. We should go in the back. Fair call there, Arthur. Boy, too many questions. Fair call. <laughs> hey! Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a... So what horse. that means is that it's going to pre... Well, you said it yeah, it preloads um, later um, when it gets to the pre-download date or the early preload date. Um, it'll download that full 125 because it's not ready to download all of that yet that'll be for the preload date that 10 that you had before was that yeah 125 is pretty big yeah i mean hell that's bigger than i'm pretty sure that's bigger than survivor and um Final Fantasy, not by a lot, but by like 10 or 20. Checked every speck by hand, cleared out all the games. Nice. Starfield is this one of the space game thingy. It's the the big space game thingy. Which somebody made a point that I didn't think about that Sony might have um, had Larian delay the release of Baldur's Gate 3 on PlayStation so that it would coincide with the release of Starfield. And I'm like... That may be, um, Let me do the I don't know how much truth there would be to a claim like that, but I mean, I could, I could see it being a, it, it sounds plausible, but what, I don't know anything about game release or anything.
Hey, buddy. Can I help you, boys? Want to want to give me three thousand dollar, five thousand dollar horses? Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You Scarface and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. See, I couldn't remember. On mine, I think it showed 101 or 106 or something like that. Okay, fine. But maybe it was smaller than that, and I just don't fucking remember. Here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. That's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous... You ever heard of this thing called a donkey show? Saratoga. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> This here is Cerberus. There you go, boy. Guys, it's giving me the option to stealth. Oh, I'm supposed to. I was like, guys, it's gonna let me kill him. Okay. Bandana's on. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. Alright, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Alright. Come on. Good boy. No, there we go. It wasn't popping up. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Oh damn it! He reared up, but I just saw his testicles. That was an accident. Survivor was a hundred and forty-seven point five. Really? Oh my god. Can I not do that? There. We no? Okay, I can't do that. So why is it not letting me do anything else? Oh my god. No! God damn it! Ah. That was not the point. Some of these games are going to have to start coming with an SSD. Right? Marston, you right point. What are you doing? Let's go, quick. I was pressing calm the horse, and it wouldn't do anything. No, you're not. Calm down. No one's robbing you. Just quiet. Oh shit, I'm on the wrong side of the fence. Oh god. I just ran one of them down. I'm not paying attention. Oh God, this is not good. I reckon this is not good, guys. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do anything with the Braithwaite's now. I'm just guessing. Ha <laughs> ha! Whatever you say, Javi. Think we're clear. <laughs> Never mind, skedaddle. <laughs> this is way down. You could theoretically just sell a game for eighty dollars that's on its own. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's kind of weird that that legit sounds like. Plausible and reasonable, honestly. No? Don't think so. Alright, let's get these horses to Clement's Cove quick before we run into any more trouble. It's coming with an M2 modular slot. He's just coming. SSDs. Yeah, I'd be down with that too. That would make sense. Oh shit, I gotta go get a horse. Oh, God. Come here, horse. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Huncules, you gotta help me out here. 
All right. There we go. All right. Come on. Evolved what once was limitations of cartridge is literally back to cartridge based. <laughs> yeah, you're you're not wrong. Sixty four cartridges couldn't play video. That's why we went to disc. Huh? I didn't even think of that. Huh? That makes sense, but I I didn't know that. Like, that makes a lot of sense. Come on, let's get this over with. That's cool. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Amen, Arthur. It's gonna literally be back to cartridges, but they're solid states. That's crazy. But like I, like we said, I mean, honestly, be more uh, um, gotcha. be more efficient than the system we have going right now. That's for sure. What you boys want? Heard you was uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Dave. Why are you calling everybody Pop? Life. We're twins. John. And? Arthur. Javier. So what are you? Cuban? No. I don't like Cubans. Fucking. So, maybe. I will you shoot care? you in the face, you Clippy Cuban. Clap, whatever maybe the fuck your name is. I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah, <laughs> sure. Oh my god. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 654. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. <laughs> the Not fuck? A bit. But I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it? Or you want to ride them fellers into town? And maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need <laughs> more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys. But nice meeting you. See you boys again. I hope. Come on. He's yeah. not wrong. Look at where we are. This is like when we played Curse of Strahd, and all my friends were like, "Oh, we got so much money on this mission," and I was like, "Where are you gonna spend it? You're in the middle of nowhere." Imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Yeah, you think? We run out of ideas in one regard, and now discs we just went back to the start for ideas. Yeah, I mean, hey, it's... Everything is cyclical. It's one of those where you realize that maybe that wasn't the... the the original idea might have been the best idea all along. Just we had to adjust it until we get Arthur. to, Arthur. um, until we get something new. Dutch, what the hell do you want now? What well, now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden swampy. It's the circle of life. What Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make us 
statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Hmm. Damn it, that's not where I was going. I'll go to Charles in a second. Never mind, I'll go to Charles now, my bad. An SSD to be portable with the game installation. Right? Because you're right, I mean, we're already there with, um, with PC stuff, you know? Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. All right, come on, Bode. We're going into town. Because I love how Dutch's missions take priority over anything else. So if you talk to Dutch, all of a sudden you're not allowed to do anything at all. It's like, come on now. Show up and can be played. Wow. About these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> like yeah, that, that that sounds like an incredible like that, that sounds like an incredible future. On the run from one bunch of lawmen. I, I think that another. sounds really cool. Like I. I I won't sight, pretend Charles. to know enough to make all the decisions, but like just the way you describe it, sounds like that'd be really cool to have that same setup for kind of everything, if you will. God damn it! How did I get caught up in the trees again? We didn't even get away with the money. Lonnie. I've only met him I'm gonna run over some turkey. Oh man, I was trying to go bowling for bowling for buzzards. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy breeches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. I think it's just up here. Alright, Trelawney, where you at? Oh, Trelawney. Knock, knock, motherfucker. Uh-oh. Someone got here first. Just kidding. So things. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Why can't I pull a gun, but Charles was allowed to? Not cool, Bode. Not cool. Touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. This is to certify blah blah. Memorandum and articles of Tacitus Kilgore Mining Company. Tacitus Kilgore and Leviticus Cornwall. Those are some dope names, I'm not gonna lie. There's some blood here. That ain't good. Wait, hold on. Damn it. It's like I'm moving in slow motion all of a sudden. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently.
Okay. Big struggle. Pretty Damn recently, it. I'd Look. say. Tracks. Twelve hours ago? Come on. But no body? Not yet. She isn't in pits, but absolute position. So theoretically, quantum computers would have infinite space. Down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right. I guess. You can invent a room temperature superconductor. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney. Space computers, theoretically. Normally scans Take up space, so it's a matter of being able to be one and zero at the same time. That, I don't even know where exactly I'm going. What am I doing? Oh, I'm following this path. Okay. Okay, wait, am I following this path? I don't know. That's what I'm doing now. Um, I love that I understood absolutely none of what you guys are talking about. Like, absolutely none of it. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. They continue on the other side of the tracks. Huh. They seem to head into the forest now. You said it, Bode. Wait, shit. I lost the... I lost the tracks. Oh, God. Bode, where are the tracks? I lost them. Oh, thank you. I knew that. Not be an issue because it will exist in a super position in space rather than... Now, when you say space... Why did I get off my horse? I don't know. When you say in space, you mean like in physical space, not outer space, right? I know that's a stupid question, but yeah. like, have you seen him? <clears throat> we're uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange In sort of feller, <laughs> sort of formal. Strange. And we're right back to where we started, and I'm confused Whoa. again. But I hear you. I I, I get that. Okay. Looks a lot like this one. So I I think I got you. That does make sense. Oh, I'm gonna beat the hell out of you. Take that beard. Where are my boys? Ha 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 ha, bitch. Oh god, did I kill that guy? You stay there. Oh, I think I did. I'm sorry. My bad. Um you uh answer questions since your friend's dead. Where is I don't know anything. Thank you for the explanation though, Tell like legitimately. Is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay, okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. If it helps, I didn't know I was going to kill him. It was an accident. Oh, my God. Okay, that one might have been on purpose. I should do it. I'm not going to lie. That one, that one was on purpose. Now we're looking for on, something go. in the cornfields. Fuck, I already done forgot. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. You got it. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Yeah. 
I can agree with that. It'd be pretty crazy to see. <laughs> All right. <laughs> have a good night, Iquan. I see that you're leaving now. You have a good night yourself as well, or a good day yourself as well. Um, don't think we'll be alive to see the innovation in quantum space and mechanics. I can agree with that. You know what? Here's the thing, though. Whether you handle it Joel's way or Arthur's way, they both end up. They both end up dead at the end of the day. Of course, but is Trelawney loyal? Kind of. Kind of. If he talked, oh God damn it! How did I run exactly into the sign? How is that even possible? Bode, wait up! I'm coming. Like I was talking about. Don't worry. <laughs> like I was talking about. Maybe. I'm sure there are things that will be commonplace when you're older that are theoretical now. Maybe not necessarily that much of an advancement, but yeah, absolutely. Okay, here's the cornfields. Oh, that makes sense. Weirdly, but it makes sense. All right, Bode took me out to the cornfields. Now, I would like to not get caught without my repeater this time. So if we can make sure I at least have that on me, I'll feel a little bit better. <laughs> Thanks, C-Ray. Good looking out. You would think so, but as long as capitalism still exists. This will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Hey, sideburns, I like your hat. So you're alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. I want his hat. I'm coming. Oh, you're going after the one with the good hat, damn it. I didn't eliminate all the bounty hunters in the field. How the hell am I supposed to find a bounty hunter in a field? Where the hell is he supposed to be? Ah! You son of a bitch! That's one. Is that my boy? Oh, that's my boy. Okay. I'm telling you now. You boys ain't leaving here. You're making a big mistake. Am I? Where he at? Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. I found you. Bitch. Oh my god! Got one more, Charles. Wait, that was the one that had the nice hat. I liked his hat. Over there, with the bird guy. You find him, Charles. I'm looking for this guy's hat. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna find it since I blew his brains all over it. Damn it! 
It was a nice hat too, Charles. You're missing out. Hello? Where are you? He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. Are you telling me he's naked? Oh, oh. No, that's you. Alright, so he's running around this cornfield naked. You see anything? If I saw something, he'd be dead, wouldn't he? Only damn thing I see around here is you. Alright, I'm just gonna run sideways. Wait, what the hell? Oh, god damn it! He's mine! Let me take him. Chuck, help me! You have my friend. Is not your friend? I'll give you money. Oh. Thanks, Bode. You should have taken the money. I'm a fool. I want to take his hat. Thank you. I didn't get the cool hat. Can I get this hat? No, this hat didn't even fall off. Oh God, there's more of them. Son of a bitch. How did I end up with this gun? Black Death is a good gun, but it's not the gun I was looking for. I wanted my repeater, damn it. All right, Black Death it is. In the face. He's backing off inside. Get after him. Come on, damn it. Where you at? All right, it ain't worth it. I'm using this. I'm a coming. <laughs> you should be the last of them. Oops. <sighs> all right, let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? And for yeah. la pièce de résistance. Sure I'm don't. taking your hat. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery fella. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Uh, <laughs> guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. Together and working together despite differences in a post-apocalyptic <laughs> utopia. Sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh. Wait, that ain't... I hope you're right. Wait! Give me back Black Death! I took the wrong gun! That's not my gun! Can we just get Trelawney and go? What happened to my gun? Okay, now I got Black Death. Oh no, I guess that one was Black Death. But oh well, I got two guns. That did not look like I had the right one, though. Sorry, this is the first gun I ever customized, so it's it's special to me. Alright, let's go find Trelawney. I can tell him about my cool new hat. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. I got a new hat, and I need well, you to tell me if it looks good. Least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh. Attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Yeah, and how'd that work out for Oregon, you? Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Of course they didn't believe you. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. 
It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Why do I get the feeling we picked up another pathetic life form? Bounty hunters, Pinkertons, lawmen. Everywhere we go, there's more and more civilization. Perhaps this is it from now on. We shall see, I guess. Yeah, good question, Mama P. Did you start Rebels? On a, on a good note, I hate this fucking hat. I know what it represents, but I don't like it. Okay, somewhere in this town is going to be somewhere I can cut my hair. I don't know where it is. But there's got to be somewhere, right? Maybe not. I don't see nobody nowhere. Oh, hey, there's a newspaper salesman. We've been talking about how Arthur can read. And I, and I didn't notice. That's good enough for me. Oh, and of course, there's somebody wants something outside of there. Sure wasn't ready for that. Yeah, no doubt. Come on, I need, I need well, a buck you? here, you bastard. Oh, my oh. God. I got my leg blown off. You again? Christ, you're a sad case. You still going it's on about this? Friend. How you keep him? Oh, <laughs> I'm miserable. Because of the leg? Ah, oh, no, I'm used to You can unlock I mean, cheat codes from I newspapers? I, was with I didn't know that. <laughs> nah, but that makes sense. A yeah, bunch of nasty, miserable peasants I gotta share this place with. Why don't you leave? Leave? Well, I live here. <laughs> They're my nasty, miserable people. And I've been hating on them for so long, if I forgot to hate them, <laughs> I wouldn't know what day it was. Yeah, but you, man, you ought to get out of here and you ought to stop coming back. I'm running out, Rose. Yeah, anybody ever told you that you're a real nice feller? Something tells me no. Okay, wait, who's selling papers? You are, boy. Boy, sell me a newspaper. Want a paper? I want all the newspapers. I'll take a paper, please. See ya. Now, what what do the papers do? Let's. How do I? How do I read the paper? Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. It's somewhere here, maybe. But my inventory is is there, right? In the documents section. The hell's the documents? I don't read, damn it. Player? Arthur? Nope. The D pad inventory. Oh, the satchel. Oh, right. That's literally the first time I've done that in, like, weeks. Okay, now we can see the newspapers. Oh, so that's back when a train was robbed. Blackwater log down bank boat heist. Oh, okay. Now where's the newest one? I want to see what it got to say about me. A fifth person slain. Pattern identified. Message scrawled in blood. 
Worries intensify of plague similar to deaths years ago. Well, that wasn't me. Lawman found dead. Probably me. Blood in the streets of Valentine. Definitely me. Treasure hunter disappears. Was seeking famed emerald. Probably me. Who are the Scarlet Meadows bandits? Might have been me. Murderer on the loose. Was headed to prison. Member of the Vanderlind gang. Oh shit, that's me too. Train robbed. Heresy. Religious sect recruiting. Citizens of Valentine. Damn. Damn. All right, that was a lot of me in the paper. Just gonna ignore that. Come in here and welcome back, sir. Take a look. Any questions? Feel free not to ask. You're a little prick. You know that. Nobody like you. Now let me just look in. Wanted scruffy looking nerve herder. Yeah, that's definitely me. <laughs> hey, I'm kind of a sheriff in this town. Kind of. Sort of. Ammunition. Okay. Oh, we're gonna buy all the ammo. Done. Cause we've got we got three thousand dollars. We're gonna buy all the ammo. I don't even have these kind of guns that I'm gonna buy the ammo. Here. Y'all, I'm gonna buy so much shit I don't need. If I were a rich man. La da dee da dee da dee da dee da dee da dee da dum. Biscuits, bread rolls, coffee, chocolate bars. Buy some food. Don't know if I need it all, but I'm gonna buy it anyway. Alright, that's probably enough food. Tonics, that's what I wanted. But it's just hair tonics? Oh. No, there's health tonics. Okay. There we go. Miracle tonic. Yep. Buy some more pom made. Right. I mean, half the time this is just cowboy dress up simulator. I'll agree with that. Ooh, your Arthur's looking looking mighty fine. The good looking Arthur. Shit, now I gotta get back to where I was. There I was. Alright. I'm gonna go to the gun store. Goodbye. I'm gonna go buy a gun. Haha! -ha. You may not want any trouble, but I want some gun. No surprise, the Braithwaite's were behind it. What kind of gun do I want? Accessories. What accessories for guns are there? Upgraded bandolier, upgraded holster. Oh, all right. Honestly, we got the money. Let's do it. <laughs> Bust through the door. Give me a gun. Oh, yep. We need to make sure we got shotgun ammo, regular shotgun shells. See, you got more ammo. I need all this ammo. Come on now. What do you think I am? Think I'm just here to not buy all the ammunition? Alright, I, I probably have enough ammo at this point. I, I feel like... Maybe, wait, maybe... 
Yeah, it's it's fine. That that's enough ammo. What what else we got here? Hang on. All right. A double. Oh, I have a double barrel shotgun. Pump action shotgun. Sawed off shotgun for the man that enjoys wielding an honest surprise. Shoots a pattern in your target dainty as a needle worker. I don't know. They're making that sound awful enticing. Let's see. What else we got here that I don't own? Schofield revolver? Double action revolver? Hmm. What's the nicest revolver I can own? Oh, the Schofield, one of the most powerful handguns we sell. Buy now. Do not miss out on this gun. All right, then. Wouldn't want to miss out on the gun, obviously. They told me not to. All right. Ooh, nice pearl grip. Yeah. Oh, can I get ebony and ivory? Can I buy two of these things? Nope, nope, long barrel's fine. Improved rifling. Of course I'm going to pay the extra for the improved rifling. What, do I look like a child? Come on now. Go ahead and improve them sights. Metals. Ooh. I mean, this is our, this is our ivory to the other guns, ebony, if we get another one. So I gotta, I gotta make this one silver, right? Plus, it's nice to just flex on people and show them how expensive my gun is. Ooh. Ooh, that's right. We put the bear. Where's the bear? Oh, we can't put a bear. Guy has no idea about anything to the dealer. Yeah, go ahead and do that filing, filing thing over there. Give her a good old whirly do on that chamber. That's that's exactly what I would be like in the real world. But here I'm a I'm a, a El Scorpion El Aguila. Um, you know what I'm. Maybe maybe we'll put a we'll put a viper on it. A little rattlesnake. Ammunition. Oh well let's buy all let's buy all the ammo. Alright, you sold me. Don't don't sell me too hard. Alright, now, can I buy another one? Yeah, we're gonna have ebony and ivory. Alright. So this one can have an ebony grip. <laughs> that snake there is good for recoil management. Oh, well, whatever you say. Nope. Improved rifling. Improved sights. All right, blackened steel. Which, why does that blackened steel actually look like not, not black? I think I'm going to go with blued steel instead, maybe. The, the blue looks a little more. It's like uh, Batman wearing blue and gray, because technically physics makes it more black in the dark. All right, we have a snake on one. So what do we put on the other? Oh, we put an eagle on the other. Got an eagle on one and a snake on the other. The eagle is going to make the... Uh, uh, it's it's going to make it soar better, right? All right, I, I think we're good now. We're good. All right, now, oh, I gotta, I can't do anything in town. I'm sorry. 
All right, well, I feel better now. Still wearing this shitty hat, but that's all right. Let's go, uh, where the hell are we going now? Who the hell wants us now? Take the eagle out for more accurate sniping potentiality in the velocity capacity of that there action. You sound like a man what knows his guns. I respect that. Oh, that's Trelawney. Oh, Trelawney can wait. We're going to go talk to Hosea. I get to be Fenton again. All right, Fenton, let's go. Hunkulees. All right, let's get up on the horse. Ain't nothing but reading a paper there or here, other. Hell, I reckon I read a good paper, too. I reckon I done read, read a couple of good papers. I, I read a couple of good papers, had a, a, a lot of news articles about me murdering people. Some Something called a serial killer. I don't know if that, that part was in reference to me. All right, Schofield Revolver. Schofield Revolver. Ebony and Ivory equipped. All right. We're ready now. Well, ain't nothing but there here other two four that was. <laughs> Are they having sex? What the hell was that sound? Oh my god, what is going on here? Is this old brother where art thou? What is happening? Oh my god! No. You know what? It looks fine to me, boys. Way to go. I can't believe that worked. Yeah, well, we don't got time to celebrate. Come on. So, what's your plan? Well, looks good to me. Bye, guys. Plan not to get Serves him right. Shut up. Hurry up. Well, it's fine. Tell me why I was trying to loot that prisoner. Like, what did I expect a prisoner to have on him? But who would murder breakfast? All right. There we go. That's a better hat than the other hat I had on anyway. Yep. Never figured out how you would find a new book for Jack. Jack doesn't get new books. He gets the same book over and over again until he memorizes those 17 words. Yeah, you're right. He might have had a pack of cigarettes. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's go figure out what we got to do with the Braithwites now. Waits, Braithwaites, Whites, whatever. Are they the Hatfields or are they the McCoys? Crane! Howdy, folks. I definitely wasn't just here not long ago. They're the McCatfocoys. Makes sense. Howdy, gentlemen. Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. What I thought. Come on, Huncules. Come on through. Do they have hats on, or are they kind of shy? How's it going? Hello. That's the nicest man I met in this damn place. First man just said hi to me. Didn't even start no shit. Their hat field's wearing the hell out of that hat, and the other one's standing in the field. Mmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> I reckon, how do you think they got their names? Well, they were standing in the fields with their hat on. Couldn't call them the field hats. This way, sir. That'd be just stupid. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. It was Fenton. Damn it, Jose, you blew the whole you, thing. Apparently. This was so my this chance at a new life. As dumb as he looks. <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. So these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we could take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper? Bonds, I'm a little McCoy. A certified check, you Yankee. God mascot. damn it. Hey, childbirth, just the most beautiful miracle on earth. Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. The fuck? What did you say about birthing monkeys? I don't know if that was meant to be racist, but uh, it's raising my eyebrows. What? What? Hop on. Or we'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. Hang on, I gotta get this X off my map. Ready? Let's get out of here. All right, so now we're going back to the other house. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I shoved that silver. Nothing stops Arthur like a deco barrel. What's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Yeah, using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Oh my god. How about I toy fitting my boot up your hook? No, just snotty old bitch. Jose really picked the right fella for tea in the manor, didn't he? Ah. Given as usual, Flannan. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere. He reckons I'm in. The more for sticking it to rich folks. Oh, hey, rich oh my God! I just ran over a family of rabbits. Money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he though? We're just gonna ignore the family of rabbits I just massacred. Easy, easy. So far, all right. The break wait still. Try to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward. I'm sorry, bugs. Peter, I, I ran out of other famous bunnies. Easter. So we're just gonna drive on in there. Is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. Babs, Velveteen. Oh, God. Oh, no, I took the wrong way. I got distracted by the names. Oh, no. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm back to the road. I'm all right. Buster, Babs, Velveteen. Y'all know a lot more rabbits than I came up with off the top of my head. Also, now I want to watch uh, Tiny Toons. I said bugs. What am I? What am I? An imbecile? Excuse me. A nin cow poop. Hide in the wagon. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and back. If you can act. Roger. Yep. Roger Rabbit. The Velveteen Rabbit. Does the Velveteen Rabbit have a name? Is it Ovaltine? Isn't it, it Nesquik? What's the name of that rabbit? Nessie? Watership down? Oh my god. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. Cow right there's called Nin. <laughs> they got their fill of their feet, Nin cow poop. <laughs> Nin cum poop. <laughs> Jessica rabbit, but by marriage. What you want, boy? 
I did say Peter. I said Bugs and Peter. Those are the only two I had. Peter Rabbit and Peter Cottontail. Peter, very common rabbit name. I like how Arthur's barrel of his gun sticks out the top of that wagon. I've come from Donegal in Ireland. Be rabbit from eight mile. <laughs> They said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay, they said. Okay, Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. It's poisoned. Good night. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Fran. Fran is a rabbit, kind of. Fran is bunny folk. <laughs> Just over here. Uh, that is a hot bunny and an uh, um, age-appropriate bunny. Am I ready for this? No. Is it the name of the Velveteen Rabbit? Tell me his name is Peter. Oh no, the Nesquik Rabbit is named. Quicky. Oh, I need a quickie. Nest quickie. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. Yeah, did nobody say Lola? Just in there. I'm looking to see if it was No one said Lola. Wow, we're slacking. Ten year old me is really upset right now. In here? The horse is like a swift one, do they? Excuse me? I'm nothing. It's grand. <laughs> Up, game, set, match. Up and set. All right, time to take. I was just thinking what would happen if uh, Arthur farted. <laughs> the Trix Rabbit's name is Cinnabon? Excuse me? Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, bitch! Surprise! Okay. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. Why has he got a gunshot wound in his back? I always thought his name was Silly. Yeah, I would have taken. I would have accepted you know, Silly yeah. Rabbit. You already got these things ready. No <laughs> company who may not like that. Oh my god, is the Trix company in cahoots with the Cinnabons? Out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. Cowabunga it is! Head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Molotov cocktail! The barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Thumper. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born one of down manor houses. Territory battle week mixed with con conquest week. Hell week in Galaxy of Heroes. Oh, well, there's somebody coming right here. So damn excited to burn these fields down. Uh, oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Oh, Where damn. You so, what you got there? Tools? I'm going to go burn down. Oh my god. Job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. 
So you're gonna you're gonna unlock Terran Malakos when the next conquest ends, but to do that you gotta put in the work during the conquest. Slap him with LV till I have a squad built up. Nice. I have taken a break from playing Galaxy of Heroes. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess up. Oh Lord Vader, okay, makes sense. I it was kind of an accident and then it just sort of was fine. Pour some moonshine. Pour some shine. Doop -a doop -a doop -a doo. Um, I suppose Wild Bill Hickok was my favorite only because I did a report on him in the fifth grade. I would not say I had a favorite outlaw for any other reason than that. Should be enough for here. Okay. Let's keep going. Come on. Run. Run, Arthur. Laying down some moonshine. Do to do to do. Pouring out an awful lot of moonshine. I feel like we're wasting quite a bit. I mean, we could be drinking this, but I mean, what do I know? <laughs> A lot of people that history has told you are incredibly handsome are incredibly handsome by their own standards of their time and not necessarily by ours. Not often is it um, the same standards. Come on. All right, just got one more field to do, and, and we're done. Don't mind me, don't mind me, I'm just getting ready to burn your fields down. L Lestat is hot in every, in every century, agreed. All right, now I just got to get to the barn. I saved a little bit of moonshine for myself. Oh, shit. There's a guy right there who's going to see us. That's right. Go and kill him, Sean. Oh, my God. He full on Ellie'd that man. All right. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Are you serious? Are you serious? The guards were alert. God damn it. <sighs> now I lost the damn hat I stole. And I dropped the damn moonshine. None of this is working out the way I wanted to, Sean. All right, what are we doing here? All right. 
I'll give you four stars. Yeah! Would you look at that? <laughs> now let's go light ourselves a fat cigar. You ain't leaving here. You keep warning. I got the red. Oh, now I got, I got the good thing I got ebony and ivory. Ebony and ivory working in perfect harmony. Oh, there's only two of us, but we got, we're equipped with the power of Christ. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. Okay, this is not working. I should. All right. TikTok live studio don't like me. Hang on. Hang on. Move you over there. Aha, we're fine. Oh my god, I don't want a war. I want to live out my dreams as a bartender. We done been over this tonight. buddy I can only stand here like this for so long okay let's get the hell out of here fast okay hang on just a second I'm coming oh shit you then got way ahead of me come on now I said wait a second do you not know how to listen Now this horse is a hunkules. Are you? Can be awful hard to do when you're dead yourself. Straight out the main gate. Come on. Can I keep this horse? I like this horse. Damn it, Dutch isn't gonna let me keep this horse. That's one into a right party. You call that a party? That brave weight hag got a money's worth, darling. Let's just get out of here first. Can I take a second to bond with this horse? It's massive. I think we lost him. That we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutchess put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. 
<laughs> this horse is thick with two C's. You coming? Decline. I'm gonna stay out here on this horse. Right, you are English. Another job well done, I'd say. I legit want to try to bond with this horse first. I ain't going anywhere. Get hold on. Just gonna pat this horse a little bit. Okay. Okay, how do I do you you just done said a lot of words that sound really good, but I don't know how to do them. Do I need to call Huncules? Damn. Oh, he's too far away. I gotta go to him. Damn that horse. That's fine. We're going back there anyway. This is fine. So I'm taking this thick horse. Is it fast? No. Is it is it maneuverable? No. Is it thick? Hell yeah. It's also white, so it's not going to be like stealthy. This thing's going to help me cowabunga my way wherever I'm going. Hey, look, another person who wasn't a complete asshole to me. All right, so we got to get back to camp. Well, that's where my horse is. Yeah, all right. Let's just go head toward Trelawney. Oh, shit, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, white chocolate. White cocoa. I don't want to call him Whitey. I'm definitely not going to name him Power. I can think of a lot of the wrong names to accidentally name your horse. Huncules was supposed to be the big black Clydesdale from the beginning, but I accidentally sold him and got that little tiny shit. And that's where well, how we ended up in this position. Does it have testicles um good question i have not checked which is weird because usually that's the first thing i check i don't see giant horse testicles i think she might be a girl uh maybe yep. i haven't looked too hard for her testicles oh god damn it you son of a bitch oh you're gonna draw your gun on me you bitch! That wasn't my fault. He knocked me off my horse, and all I was trying to do was check if she had testicles. I don't think she does. No, no balls. No balls. This is a female horse. Oh god, that guy's gonna see my dead body. John, it's me, goddammit. <laughs> Alright, we have bonded with this horse. Okay. So now, equip it with our saddle. Okay, so we're gonna come over here. Alright. I'm gonna tether this horse. Or hitch it, whatever. Aurora Opal Shimmer Sea Biscuit. Okay, now we find Huncules. 
Which is this ugly some bitch here. Now do I go to horse cargo? Nah. Oh, there it is. Remove saddle. Let's get this off, boy. <clears throat> All right, you ugly some bitch. <laughs> I do. I even want to know what? Oh, the fact that I hadn't looked at. God damn it! I was like, what? What do you think that qu that clip was about? And I'm like, oh. It's about looking for horse balls. All right, girl. This is now my main horse. You're my main squeeze, girl. Now, you said something about finding a stable. Okay, hang on. Where the hell are the stables even at? I don't even know if I know where a stable is. Horse balls into falling off your horse and beating up a guy basically sums up most of my experience. Pretty much. Oh, hey, look. No, that's a horse fence. Is that where I can go? Is that a... Customize the saddle and name your horse and buy horse provisions. Aha! Stable! Let's ride, girl. Oh, it's sunlight. I can actually look and see now. Oh, yeah, there's no balls. Of that, I am sure. I still have a crappy deer pelt I never sold. Yum. That horse is Ken, uh... Sup, Queenie Bell? Thanks for the resubscribe for six months. It is crazy how time flies. Come on, fellas, let's get this done before someone sees it. Oh no, this ain't what we asked for at all. What is this, a joke? You trying to pawn crap off on us? I've had enough of this. Both of you get your hands up. Now! Oh, I didn't want to have to do this, but now I have to. Not a word about this, or I'll find you and take that tongue. Excuse me? Take this tongue, bitch! Bitch! Yeah, this horse has no balls, but she's thick with two C's. Calm down, it's all right, girl. He, oh, to be fair, Arthur did say it's all right, girl. So Arthur knew. He would have told us eventually. The map really pointing me in the best way to get to the... Oh, I guess it is. All right, I'll trust the damn map. Why do I have that bolt action rifle? That's not what I wanted. Oh, because my Lancaster's over there. There's a lady horse now. Double wide trunk. You know the first name that popped into my head? Oh, guys, I know what we're naming her. I know what her name is and I will be taking no questions. Her name is Megan. Because she's a stallion. Look at this. Look at this girl. Her name is Megan. Look out. <laughs> Put a saddle on that horse's saddle because it's that fucking thick. Mm. 
Got some hot cocoa. Mmm. It's almost hot cocoa season. I'm excited. I buy hot cocoa by the by the truckload every year. All right, Megan, we're we're on our way to the stable. Do you hear the sound she makes when she runs, though? Uh, 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 uh. When you're this thick, running is kind of tough, I guess. Like, she's asthmatic. I swear to God, that ad break... Um, bot is supposed to be set for 30 minutes. It is not. It is not. It keeps fucking coming up whenever it damn well feels like. Yeah, I was gonna say, as far as I know, it's not gonna ruin it. Uh, but it's gonna hurt like a bitch. All right, y'all. Time to name this stallion Megan. Now, what do I do? Do I go into the stables? How do I do this? If you lose your saddle, it'll be retrieved for you when entering the stables. Okay, no. Manage owned horses. This one. Okay. Upgrade? Equipment. Oh, shit. Now I can... Alright. Services. Rename horse. Here we go. Megan. Megan the Stallion. I'm going to have to buy Horse Reviver now because I'm never letting her go. Alright. Upgrade. Give her the horse care package. I got the money. We're going all out now. Let's, uh... Give her, give her a nice hairdo. Nice bit of grooming. People take notice. We're not giving her dreadlocks. Mohawk. When did her hair turn white? Oh, we can change the color of her hair? Well, that's weird. You know what? She's a, she's a natural girl. We're gonna leave her hair natural. Oh, natural. Few careful trims and this oh, but we're gonna braid her. Good. We're gonna braid her tail. I like the braid, but I don't want it to be. Where's the white? Like her original? There it is. Uh -huh. Now I kind of want to know what is the braid. Oh no, the braids look. I don't like the braids. No, I like her natural top hair and her braided her braided butt hair. Looks good, Megan. What what is happening here? Why am I this invested in Megan the Stallion's hair? Like what what's going on here? Good saddles is almost as important as a good horse. Oh my god, we got a we need a a saddle worth this uh thick thick queen i kind of like that gerdan vaquero all right that's a good choice oh that's nice. there we go Saddlebags. Always good to have one of those. Might as well upgrade them. I don't even know if that does anything, but damn it. That's a nice addition on a saddle. Safety stir. Do I need safety stirrups? I feel like I might need safety stirrups. I should get the best ones though. These hooded stirrups. <laughs> but safety stirrups. That that sounds like a necessary. 
horns. Oh, on the top of the. Helps personalize it. What? Oh, that's just that stuff just changes what's already on there. I got one of them myself. What blanket is he talking about? I don't even see a damn blanket. Oh, it's underneath. I can't barely see it anyway. It's fine. Whatever you gave me is fine. That's the bedroll. Always good to have one of those. Why would I want to sleep on canvas and not padded wool? Good. Oh, I already upgraded those. I already did the appearance. There we go. Megan the Stallion. You are all the Shire, or whatever. Who cares? Bring that horse back if you need oh wait, I need to buy provisions too, cause I gotta, I gotta take good care of her. Oh no, I, I knew where the what the saddle blanket necessarily was. I just couldn't find it, and now I realize what it was. What are tack and services? Oh, that's just the, the stuff. Horse provisions. Horse reviver! Appreciate. We carry three of those just in case. Um, we'll grab some horse medicine. I've spent like, I want you to know, I've spent like $600 today. It's pretty bad. I, I've spent a lot of money. We're just going to buy all the food. It's fine. I got the money. I'm buying I'm buying our food. There you go. It's fine. See? All right. Now, before we go anywhere else, um no, I don't want my weapons. Well, I guess I got them. We got to Gotta love on Megan and the Stallion a little bit. Good girl. Give her a little brush. Give her a little food. Alright, now we gotta get back to camp. Hopefully we don't come across anybody else what needs an ass whooping along the way. But we shall find out. Oh, come on. It didn't actually take... God damn it. If your horse is dirty, she'll lose her cores faster? So brush her whenever the mud is visible. Oh, I didn't know that. Which is easier on a white horse, I'm assuming. Now, Megan, don't you go getting me killed. The other... Huncules already did that shit. I will also tell you that while you're discussing... Um... Watch what you do. Um... While you're discussing tattoos, yep. and you're like, oh, it's permanent. Yeah, but life isn't permanent. <laughs> You'll be rid of it eventually. Hey, get yourself out of there. Whoa, what did you do, sir? Why are you standing over this dead lady here? See what if you that sounds like a threat. Did that sound like a threat to anybody else? Sound like a threat to me. I'd like you to meet a couple friends of mine. Ebony and Ivory! Shouldn't have missed that, should you? That was awful strange. I don't I wanna know what happened there, but also, I don't really care. I'ma take this nice hat and get the hell out of here. Oh shit! You done- you had to go and see something, didn't you? Get out of here!
Uh, now we're back to this, aren't we? All right, Megan, it's fine. It's fine. Take it easy. Calm down. Okay, girl. <laughs> it said witness investigating. He saw something. Howdy, gentlemen. <laughs> Nothing to see there. Do -do 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 -do. If you come across some dead bodies, I'd be like, oh my, I'm surprised. Listen, we can't have witnesses running around here to our crimes. Yeah. What sort of murder simulator did you think this was? Wish you could claim self-defense. <laughs> See, but that's just admitting. Oh, oh. Let's show them how free men do some kill. What? Get off my horse! Leave Megan alone! The hell do you think you started here? Ah, damn! Let's get ambushed. The hell was that for? Ah, oh, well, fuck it. They're all dead now. What does it matter? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't see nothing. Hey, what? what? Don't freak out. God, people just freaking out over nothing nowadays. All because a man what has guns in his hands, and ain't nothing, ain't no reason to start nothing. Howdy, friend. Think I have the money to get laser tattoo removal in this economy? Too, because my uncle is a tattoo artist he doesn't pro bono for us well like I said think about it this way you're 18 you got what 70 80 years with him you'll be fine all right well we only had to murder how many people so far Oh, there was, there was the horde of people attacked us on the way back, too. So, like, we'll say 10, 11, and of those 10, like, 7 of them attacked us. So, I mean, like, honestly, that wasn't the worst. All right, good job, Megan. You done good, girl. Yep. I like you a lot better than I like the other Huncules. Except I gotta get this ugly ass pelt off your back. How do I do that? Let's find out here. Maybe. Or Scargo. Duh. Just discard it. There we go. Oh, Megan. I was standing right next to you. You really got a shit when I'm standing right next to you? <sighs> I tell you. No manners these horses have. No manners whatsoever. Can I tell you something? Oh my god, what do you want? Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Oh my god, Mr. Reverend, go away. Do you think the Pinkertons are finally gonna kill us? They're after my Magic the Gathering cards. We already talked about this. Go away. Alright, I'm going to my bunk, whatever you want to call it. 
I want to take a nap. Unk, leave me alone. Oh. The mark of the outsider on your left hand because dishonored. One of your favorite games, but your uncle talked me out of it because it'd be my first tattoo and on your hand might hurt like hell. Yeah. Catalina wine mixer. How's it going? All right. Oh, our mustache is up to a fiver. I gotta do my hair and take a nap. Oh, Micah. Oh, Micah's got a job for us. I don't want to do that right now. Alright, let's take us a nap. Fuck it until tomorrow morning. I'm, I'm taking an 18 hour nap. I'm done. Oh. Alright. I'm I'm not gonna lie, Catalina Wine Mixer. I'm finally coming around to why people love this this game. Um, it took me a while. It took me a while, but I'm finally starting to get around to why people love it. Okay, now I can do my hair. <laughs> the God of Spiders. Yum. All right. So let's save this right here. This is my first time playing. And hang on here. 33.2. Okay. Me pop over here real quick um <laughs> i see it now i see that we're we're in an ad break now so i'm gonna hang out here for another like 30 seconds um which i'm gonna hang out here anyway because um i'm gonna start wrapping things up um let's see you, the devil's advocate is also the um, god of spiders. See, those go hand in hand. I can understand where those both come from. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I was waiting. There it is. Um, something big or super detailed either. Yeah. So, Catalina Wine Mixer, this is my first time playing through um red dead redemption 2 like i explained it originally um i started playing the game when it was on a uh, game pass like two years ago um i played it for like two hours and then forgot how all the buttons worked and just never went back to the game um so this is the farthest i've ever gotten in the game and then, um, so yeah, most of the games I'm playing right now are games I have not played before. Uh, most of them. So like tonight, Mondays is Red Dead Redemption. Um, tomorrow will be, um, The Last of Us Part 2, which I still haven't played through before. I still haven't finished it yet. Um, Last of Us Part 2 tomorrow, and then Horizon Forbidden West on Wednesday. Um... So all of those are games I haven't played before. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for tonight. Um, just because we're getting... It's getting... Get to the point where I'm ready to... I got... Oh, shit. I got shit to do in the morning. I forgot all about that. So, um, yeah. It's definitely time for me to go ahead and call it a night. I want to thank everybody who was hanging out both here and over on the TikTok. Um, thank you. Big shout outs to Idly Kiwi and Queenie for the resubscribes. Um, I love you guys so much. Your support is what keeps me going on even on days when I don't necessarily want to stream. Um, but yeah, 
you know, some days you're not in the mood, but I, you guys are what keep me going. So thank you. I hope you guys had at least a little bit of a laugh tonight because as the great Rob Paulson and I always say, laughter is the best medicine. And the cool part is you can OD and the refills are free. Have a wonderful night. You are now Always.